Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? Who can I see? Have we got volume? Have we got sound? What's going on? Here we do. Very, very good. So I see Joshy. I see Tony T, Mr. Jam, Liam. Uh, I see John L UFC, Amber, Leavable Coins, uh, Teague Benice, Harry's Nan. Hello, hello. Oh, I've not got no comments on... Oops, have I done this? Mm. Oh dear, why can't I see my car YouTube comments? What's going on? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. I can see your lovely comments. I see Heather Ellis, Purple Fairy, Shani Pad, Total Coins, John Sanders, Jay Smith, Rose Ford, Canadian Ride, Adam, Adam Boots, Shawnee Henderson, Vodal, uh, Jordan Cook, Emma McLock, Lock, Lock, Lock. Uh, Sporty Girl 18, Canadian Rhine Pocket Poet, Shawnee Henderson, Denise Haynes, hello. Yes, we are live on a Saturday. What's going on? I'm a little bit frazzled. I had work this morning. Uh, <laughs> my weekend is all a bit topsy-turvy at the moment. I'm, I'm, I've not done everything that I normally do by the time of the live stream, so holy Toledo. John o L U F C says, Leeds promoted. I saw that. I saw it on the news. Hello to Laughter and Katie Jones Coins, Jude S, Soft Shallow, um, Special Little Pineapple, Superstar Warrior, Richard Harmon, Coins and More UK, Grossy Coin Hunts, Bambio, uh, Tez Hall, hello, hello, hello. I hope you've all had a, a wonderful week and I hope you are going to be having a wonderful weekend. Uh, I'm away tomorrow so I can't do my live stream as usual, so um, yes. Uh, Joshy says, I was at my local market and got a claim of rights for £4. Holy Toledo, what a deal. What an absolute deal. That's a Master Temple, Master Temp, Master Dan Temple's Treasures kind of deal. Lovely shirt, very sophisticated. Thank you. It's all planets and space and things. <laughs> Continuing with the horrible shirts. This one isn't as bad. It isn't as bad. I think we all can agree. Hello, Lynn Mills. Hello, Olivia Rules. On Twitch, for me, it says starting soon. Oh, dear. Maybe you, you might need to fast forward a little bit. Might need to fast forward. If someone can message Olivia Rules in the comments over on Twitch and say you might need to fast forward. You might not be live Saturday. I know James Lind Lee. Lind 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 Lee. I'm away tomorrow. Uh, hence, I have to do my live stream today. Uh, Emma McLock. Muck. McCulloch. McCulloch? Is that it? Uh, got another Northern Ireland Commonwealth for a skull trade yesterday. Holy Toledo, what a trade. Shirt's not blinding tonight. <laughs> How was work today? Uh, another day in paradise. Those H's don't paint themselves. Uh, if you notice this, notice you will notice this notice is not worth noticing. I noticed, I noticed. Ozzy has a new friend called Ruby. Really? Is that another addition to your to your to your household, or is this just someone that you meet when you go walkies? Well, I'm Saturday. I'm I'm away tomorrow, so no live streams from me tomorrow. Although rumor has it there's going to be someone filling the spot 6 p.m. tomorrow. So uh, I've not had confirmation from this particular person that it's actually going to happen. I'm waiting for a message to come through to confirm before I start saying everyone go watch this person and they then they don't go live. Happy birthday, Courtney, for tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday to Courtney. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, Anthony Major got a 2009 shield in your hunt yesterday. Holy Toledo. Shirt is very tasteful this evening. <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's not, quite as, um, not quite as loud. Not quite as loud. Cali streaming tomorrow at 6. Oh, it is Cali. Yeah, so oh, look, laughter's confirmed it. So, yes, I, I heard on the grapevine that the fez is crooked. What's going on here? Where's the badge? Where's the, oh, it is that side. Oh dear. My hair is all gone. It's twisted with that. <laughs> My toupee twisted with it. Um, so Caledonian Coins is going to be live tomorrow at 6pm. So head on over. If you don't get your fill um, of coin hunting tonight, there will be a 6pm live stream on, a sun, on Sunday. And that's going to be over at Caledonian Coins. So make sure you go over and give Caledonian Coins some love on that. I'm going to try my best to be in there, but I'm out and about. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing by that time of day. So... Uh, there we go. Um, we did post on Instagram. Okay, it's verified. It's verified. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Everyone head over to Caledonian Coins tomorrow. And then Caledonian says, why are you saying that? I'm not going live. <laughs> what 
Well, just to say that there was you, you Facebook. I'll be live this evening at 6 p.m. replacing the usual Sunday live stream. See you then. Uh, so I'm live tonight instead of tomorrow because I'm away tomorrow. But Caledonian Coins is going to be live tomorrow. So get yourself on over to Caledonian Coins tomorrow. Tomorrow, usual time. Wait, my usual time, my usual slot, but on Caledonian Coins' channel. Uh, yeah, so I was a bit behind getting everyone's alphabet uh, J or J redesigns this week. Uh, I have had a hectic week, uh, but I managed to pick them all up this morning. Um, this afternoon, just about 45 minutes ago. So uh, I should have, I sent everyone a message to say I'd got it. I think I got everyone's. I've just thought of one place I didn't check though. Let me check. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Professional streams as ever from Mr. Collects. Uh, oh dear, I've got messages as well. Do, 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 doesn't look like anyone's sent me a doodah. Uh, no, it's all good. It's all good. I think I get everyone's. So speaking of which, shall we have a look at the designs we got this week? So this week is the letter J or J. Okay, how many times am I going to have to say J or J today? So numbers 1 through 12, we have Jigsaw, Jack in the Box, Jabba the Hutt, John Rambo, Jousting, Jam Sandwich, Jamesy Behoy, i heard of that fella. I've heard of that fella. I hear he's trouble. I hear that he is trouble. <laughs> Number eight is Jack the Ripper. Then we have another Jack in the Box. We have Jack and Jill. We have Jerry from Tom and Jerry. We then have Jam. On the second page, we have uh, Jay for Justice, Jogging, Jam again. The, oh, what was that? It was, um, I can't remember now. Jarrow, something, Jarrow, Jarrow March. Uh, Jarrow... Jarrow March. I'm not quite sure what that is, I must admit. We then have Jesse Jai, uh, John Lennon. Uh, this one here, nope, there, is Joke of the Day uh, from a very, very special court jester of mine. We then have Jam, Jack and Jill, JK Rowling, Rowling, or whatever you want to call her, uh, J, J4 Jai, just down there, and lastly, Jack and Jill. I think I got everyone's. I think, I think, I think. Uh, Katie Hoss says, I'm so dragging Christopher, this is the Z again. <laughs> We're equal opportunities on Christopher Collects. Um, since when did you, I do this? Uh, I've been doing l the weekly live streams for a long, long time now. Uh, I think, in fact, my uh, Twitter and Facebook memory came up saying um, a year ago, and it was my first uh, live stream. So it's just over a year now. Uh, but I think I've got everybody's entries. Uh, I haven't seen anyone grumbling yet, so I think I've got everyone's. Um, but no, some awesome, awesome designs. But you'll get to vote for your favourite one at the uh, after the first break. I'll set up the straw poll and you can go and vote. However, uh, so the first the person who gets the most most votes wins a prize. But if you if you pick the same design as me, you instantly win. A prize um, and this week someone has there is a design that is the same as mine so exciting exciting someone I'm not a copycat obviously because I do mine straight after the live stream but someone did the same design as me and someone is going to win a prize so what did I do I'm gonna have some juice first I also did J for jam sandwich so I believe, was it Teague Benice? Is it Teague Benice? Okay, I'm going to check now. I think it was Teague Benice, you know. It was. It was. So I did Jay for Jam Sandwich too. So Teague Benice, you've won a prize. Prizes haven't gone out yet, must have been. They've had a bit of a frantic week. I think I did see Teague Benice around. I think I, yes. Teague Benice over on Twitch. Yay, a prize. A prize, a prize. That's a good drawing. There's obviously the silver proof version, of course, because it had colour on it. So um, there we go. What about the other two jams? Mm, what do we think? Do we, do we give prizes to the two jams as well? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you think the other two jams should also win a prize. <laughs> Harry's <Stan> answer no. <laughs> Hello, Cymax and more. 
Thanks for tuning in. I think I saw Agent Hol joining as well. Hola to Agent Hol. We don't see Twitch chats. Oh, yes. Well, you can tell me the chat everywhere. Oh, everyone's saying no. No, they were jars of jam. No, 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 no. I've got two yeses, three yeses, four yeses. Mr. Jam said, Mr. Jam over on Twitch says, I think having jam in my name, I should decide. Well. <laughs> there were lots of no's. There were lots of yeses coming through now. Jam ZB hoy. <laughs> Teague Benice says, great minds think alike. Fools seldom differ, though. <laughs> That's what I was always told. Um, I don't know. It's, 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 it's sort of going 50-50 now. Who shall I point to make the overriding decision? Who is trustworthy? Who is trustworthy? Who saw? Uh... I don't know. Now I feel like if I pick someone, <laughs> we need someone. We need some uh, independent adjudicator. Isn't this a total coin slot? Uh, he streams every other weekend, and I did check with him, and he's not live streaming this weekend. He streamed last weekend. Um, who's going to judge? Who's going to judge? Uh, we should. Oh, go on. Agent Hulk can decide. Agent Hulk. Did more people say yes, or did not more people say no? Teague Benice, what are they? What was the decision? Teague Benice can make the decision. Make the decision for Twitch. Uh, Katie Hall's saying no. There we go. It's not my fault. It's Katie Hall. It's, it's Agent Hall's fault. My fault now. <laughs> dear, dear. Give them a cue each. Are you crazy? <laughs> she think I made of money? <laughs> but no. Right, we're three minutes in, and we haven't started looking at coins yet. Forewarned. It feels like I'm sat in a sauna right now. I am very, very warm. Um, and I haven't even got the books ready, so uh, there we go. Professional streams, as ever. Um, I think these are the right books down here. Well prepared. Oh dear. Uh, I think that is the right book. That's one book, that's two books, which hopefully means these two books are the correct books. Yes. There we go. There is some method to my madness. Some method to my madness. So, what am I doing? What's my name? What, what, what? It's not the right day. <laughs> it's not a Sunday. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit out of order, out, out of sorts. So, let's not knock the coffee everywhere. Goodness gracious. We are looking for the alphabet 10 P's. We are, for 2018, we are missing A. We are missing D. We are missing K and H. Why is this so blurry? Oh, dear, dear, dear. When I set the focus, I must not have done it very well. I must have done it very, very poorly. Let me just, let me just make it. A, that does look in focus to me now. Maybe I'm just holding it too close. Maybe I'm just holding it too close. All right. We're also looking for K. And it does look bad, doesn't it? What is going on today? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right, okay. We are going to be faffing a little bit. We're going to be faffing a little bit. It's okay. It's not my normal day. It's not my usual day. Yeah, that's what I'm going to blame. That's what I'm going to blame. Da, 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 da. That's better. We can see again. We'll start over. <laughs> For 2018, we are missing the letter A. The letter D, the letter K, the letter H, the letter O, and that's the whole panel there. So we're missing a few on this one, but we're getting there. Good traction on that book. 2019 is a whole nother story. We are missing, oh, all we have is E, F, G, H, I, J, J, K, L, O, T, V, and X. So plenty to find for 2019. Right. Lucky token. 
Good thinking, good thinking. Right, we are doing the token number 274. Available at www.christophercollects.co.uk And as ever, if you make the first purchase once the live stream has started, that token will be yours. You'll get the one from the live stream. Hello, Blossom. Hello, Mackenzie. Uh, will you swap to Saturdays all the time if you find a queue tonight? No. Sundays are definitely live stream week, live stream days for me. It works best for my schedule because I work alternate Saturdays, so trying to fit everything I normally do in the day and then be back in time for the live stream is a little bit tricky. A little bit, just a little bit tricky. Big hello to Ruby. Have to send some pics on Instagram. Definitely. Definitely. Hello, Laura. Let me take my watch off. How is everyone this fine, fine evening? I am fantastic. Aviation Media, what percentage battery are you on today? Right then. And, uh, I'll try and never post it on there. There we go. We're going to keep keeping eyes out for Ruby over on all the social medias. All the social medias. How many of these streams normally last for? We're not, it's normally about, what, two and a half, three hours? Depending how much I rabbit on for. Are the scissors in the pot? No, they're not. Where did I, where did I put them? They're down at the side. Scissors are going in the pot. Well remembered, Mackenzie. Shiny Pad says, I'm amazing. Yeetster is on 5%, coming home from a meat. Evening, Christopher. My fingers are crushed for your hunt. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Teague Bunny says, I started work at 5 a.m. I've been up since 4. Oh, my goodness gracious. I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't last that long. I would be a goner if I was up at 5. I was up at 7. And I have... I haven't had a nap. <laughs> a siesta. Holy Toledo. Kurt Koenig. Thank you very much for joining... Uh, becoming a member on YouTube. You are now a Toledonian. Man, oh man, is it warm. Just a little bit warm. A little bit uncomfortably warm. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I feel like I'm melting. I feel like I'm melting a little bit. Eleven percent and one hour away from home as well. Uh oh. Not good. How far does eleven percent get you? Do you prefer 10p, 50p or £2 coin hunts? I like them all, really. We've been having exceptional luck with £2 coins of recent. My chair is squeaking a little bit. The £2 coins have been exceptionally lucky recently. Uh, 50p's are always good fun. Uh, and 10p's, although it can seem like a bit of a drag not finding anything, when you do find one, goodness gracious, is that a good feeling. What line of work am I in? I am a veterinarian to the stars, of course. Uh, Brian, Ble Brian Blessed's budgie is a, is a uh, frequent patient. I only, I only deal with uh, celebrity pets that have an alliteration, of course, Brian Blessed's budgie. Um, um, Andy Abrams um, aardvark. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of some more now. <laughs> uh, Is the budgie deaf? <laughs> probably, probably. A la Master Dan Temple's treasures. Is the WWF coin rare? It's a scarcer coin, yes. And it is over face value. Lots of people's favorites. Gordon's alive. I can't think of any other. Gilbert Godfrey's goat. Another pet, that's another one. That's another one that came into the surgery. <laughs> uh, Sylvester Stallone's snail, yeah, 
very good Harry's Nan. Yeah, that was a, that was another one. Is there any coin you're sick of seeing? Benjamin Binney. We are we have got a campaign to make Benjamin better again. <laughs> Some of my lovely CoinTuber friends and viewers have been signing Benjamin Bunnies much like I do and releasing them into circulation. Uh, it's good, it'll make them much more fun to find if we've got a chance of finding another person's Benjamin Bunny. Whether you are a coin tuber or you are just a viewer, um, we'd all love to find your signed Benjamin Bunnies. Um, so we're, we're making Benjamin better again. <laughs> Does anyone here do geocaching? Uh, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Someone told me, um, someone did explain, you, you go looking for rocks that have been posted online or something? Is that is that what it is? I'm not bringing my hamster to your surgery. Well, you're not allowed to. It's not an alliteration. We only deal with pet with pets to the stars that are alliterations. Purple Fairy's been signing them. Well done, Steven Spielberg spiders. There we go. <laughs> well done, Sunny Pad. Amazing. That is uh, yes another of course frequent viewer. A frequent viewer, a very frequent visitor, fractured one of its legs, that poor little... Geocaching is a hunt, there we go. Geocaching is where you download an app and you go around looking for geocaching outside, then you log them. So what is a geocache? What is a geocache? I don't understand. Reflex, if you get a fake Q guns on the live stream, will you put it in the book? Probably. Probably. Master Dan Temple's treasures is also signing the bunnies. Well done, Master, Tem Master Temple. Bob Beckett's budgie. Harry Houdini's horse. <laughs> Harry Hill. It's, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we'll take uh, Harry Hill's hamster in. By all means. Kim Kardashian's kangaroo. Amazing. Uh. Geocaching is when you look for a sort of prize that's attached to coordinates on a map or app. We do it with, with scouts. Idea is you place things back when you get the things. Oh, okay. Bridget Bardo's Bandicoot. There we go. Bridget Bard Bardo's Bandicoot. Yes. For those that the, the missed the starts, I revealed my, my profession. I am a uh, veterinarian to the stars, but we only see uh, pets that have an alliteration with the um, um, owner's names. So Brian Blessed's Budgie, Harry Houdini's Horse, um, Danny Dyer's Donkey. <laughs> deary, deary, dear. Ryan, Reno Ryan Reynolds Rhino. What a mouthful that is. Ironically, it's a miniature rhino, so not actually a mouthful. You can fit you can fit that rhino comfortably. You can fit three of them. Good evening, Rets and Relin. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, come on, that won't flip over. Uh, Christopher Chataway's Cheetah. Bill Bailey's, oh, Bill Bailey's something. Bill Bailey's Badger. Bill Bailey's Badger. Doris Day's, what was that? I saw Doris Day. Doris Day's Dingo. There we go. Doris Day's Dingo, yeah. Doris Day's Dingo, that was a good one. <laughs> Marilyn, Mon Mar Marilyn Monroe's mac and cheese. Mac and cheese isn't a pet. Marilyn Monroe's um, maggots. Um, oh dear, poor taste. I can't think of another one. I'm beginning with M. Uh, m, 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 m. Minotaur. The Minotaur. Marilyn Monroe's Minotaur. Monkey duff. There we go. <laughs> Been a better one. Harry Houdini's horse has escaped. It always does. It always does. 
crafty, crafty thing. Mama's there, there we go. Amy Adams Aardvark, yes. We had Andy Abrams Aardvark as well. Reading tongue twisters. No, I, I revealed my, my profession. I am a veterinarian to the stars, but we only take on pets that have an alliteration with the owner's name. So, Ryan Reynolds Rhino, Brian Blessed's Budgie, Doris Day's Dingo, um, Vince Vaughn's Velociraptor. <laughs> These are all the pets that we see coming through. Mike Myers Manatee. <laughs> <laughs> dear, dear. There's, there's quite a lot of them, isn't there? See, that's right. It's good. It's good business. It's a good business. That's why I can buy all the coins I buy. <laughs> Christopher collects crickets. I I forgot myself. Caledonians coins, Chihuahua. Um, coin cupboards, Chubacabra. Um. Tina Turner's Tapir. <laughs> I lot of Caledonian coins. And our Caledonian coins, as I said, is filling the slot that I, I normally stream in tomorrow. So 6 p.m. Sunday, head on over to Caledonian Coins' channel and get your fill of coin, coin hunting live. Uh, that is, unless coin, Caledonian Coins says no, it's not true. Um, but yes, we, we are plugging Caledonian Coins ready to stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. so get yourselves on over there obviously at 6 p.m. tomorrow don't get yourself over on there now uh, he's not live yet Danny DeVito's dodo very good mr. Jabbers <laughs> Danny DeVito's Winston Wolf's walrus yes Steven Spielberg's stegosaurus Peter Purvis's Pete Petra 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 uh, Maka Mula's mongoose Peter Pan's pixie your hands look sore hands are fine Hands are fine. Um, have, we, have I missed anyone else's name? Peter Pertwit Parrot. <laughs> Marilyn Manson's Mongoose. Very good. See, so, see, there's lots and lots of pets. There we go. We've got a find as well. We've got a Jersey 10 pence from 1992. I think that's the common one. I think that's the one we see quite often. But yeah, see, if, there we go. Laughter's Lion, there we go. Bertie Bassett's mm, bull. <laughs> I'm not sure I can say that word on live stream. Charlie Chaplin's chipmunk. God, Mr. Jam's good at this. Mr. Jam and laughter. Robert Redford's Roadrunner. Very good. Robert Redford. Wow. I saw a film last... Was it last year? I thought it was recently. It wasn't, though. It, was, it might have been the year before. Robert Redford, uh, an old man with a gun. He was a, a, a an old age bank robber. Very good film. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Bungle's bear. Mm, he's Bungle's. He's Bungle collects. It doesn't work. Bungle cannot come to my veterinarian surgery, unfortunately. Stacey Lee predicted the territory's coin. Very good. Very good. Pocket poet's penguin. There we go. Pocket poet's penguin. Ozzy Osbourne's o octopus. Look at all these people. Bugs Bunny's bear. There we go. Bugs Bunny's bear can come to the surgery by all means. It's, it's a niche it's niche surgery, but uh, we, we, we have um, water with cucumber floating in it. So what I'm saying, Sarah Silverman's salmon. Kurt Koenig's Kia. There we go. Oh, Robert Roberts can come as well. Robert Robert can bring his... Um, I can't think of a I can't think of a a pet that begins with an R. Uh Robert Roberts Rottweiler. Welcome to my surgery. Take a seat, help yourself to the uh, cucumber water. It's very healthy. It's water and it tastes like cucumber. And that's because there's cucumber in the water. What is this? I, I outed myself. I admitted what my profession is. I am a veterinarian to the stars. 
but we only allow pets with alliteration. So there we go. Chev chases Chinchilla. Or was it Ryan, Reno Ryan Reynolds Rhino? Um, Rets and Relim can bring his pet. Rets and Relim's Hugh Hefner's hairs. There we go. Red Panda. Rets and Relim's Red Panda. Willy Wonka's White Whale. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dear. Special little pineapple staffy. Mm. If you were just if you were just special, if it was just special, then yes. But uh, unfortunately, it has to be complete alliterations. Sneaky Stewart Sparrow. Who's Sneaky Stewart? <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit different, isn't it? Pantherette's Panther. There you go. Pantherette's Panther is welcome. David Dubrovnik's Dolphins. Charlie Chaplin's Chubacabras. Rets in Relim's Reindeer. There we go. David, David, uh, Dodgy Dave's Dog. <laughs> We've got Gibraltar in here. It is a partridge. I think it's a partridge. That's what that is, right? It's a partridge sans pear tree. Christopher collects cats. Shaking Stephen Salamander. Amazing. Cheryl Cole's... It has to begin with a C. God, Cheryl Cole's mole sounds great, but um, it has to begin with a C. Adam Ant's alligator. I just joined. This is an odd day. It's, it's turning into a little bit of an odd day. Stephen Seagal's seagull. Percy Pig's partridge. <laughs> See, look at all this business I've got coming my way. Of course. That's, that's, that's definitely why I'm um, able to buy these fantastic shirts every week. For your viewing pleasure. <laughs> there was lots more of them than I thought. Business is good. Business is good down at the um, old celebrity vets. Pepper Pig's Pike. Simon Sick Skunk. Simon Sick Skunk. What year was that? Oh, 16, I thought it was 2019. Let's say, hang on a minute. Daisy Duke's Dingo. Emilio Estevez's... <sighs> I'm never going to say this. Emilio Estevez's Elk. There we go. You will need a veterinary nurse, Christopher. We're taking applications, of course. Taking applications, of course. All this business that's, that's going to come my way, we're going to need all the staff we can we can lay our hands on. Do I have Twitter? I do have Twitter. Wonder Woman's Wombat. <laughs> Um, if you if you'd like to apply for the role of a uh, nurse at the Christopher Clex Veterinarian to the Stars Surgery, uh, you need to leave a comment and let me know what your what your special skill would be to bring to my veterinarians. What's your special skill, Courtney Cox's ox? That's me with a C. Her ox can't come, but a cat can. Olivia Rules sent her the redesign for the letter K. Amazing. Ronald Reagan's rhino. Ronald Reagan's rhino. Benjamin Bunny's beaver. Hang on, you're on the, if you think that, if you think this is one of these 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 funny uh, channels, you have mixed me and Bungle Collects coins up. Take your smarts. <laughs> Christopher Collects Celebrity Creature Care Clinic. Ah, oh, mark a day. Janice Joplin's Jaboa. Christopher and Christian's Magical Veterinarian Arc. I liked Christopher Collect's Celebrity Creature Care Clinic. How is that? That is superb. Well, we've got we've got head of branding, Mark a day. Head of branding. David Dickinson's Dolphins. <laughs> Temple Treasures Trouts. Postman Pat and his mm, and his 
Postman Pat and his uh, uh, parrot. I can shout, they don't like a Zuppum, says Chris Harrison. <laughs> Chris Harrison, you are a receptionist. Welcome to the clinic. <laughs> You can be on uh, reception and um, post care, and that can be your. <gasps> we got one! Holy Toledo! We got my favourite F for fish and chips. 2019 as well. Holy Toledo! What a find! What a find! Farrah Fawcett's fish. Sharon Stone Swan. You know all these ones that Laughter's coming up with. I think Laughter's going to have to be our um, our um, our um, our um, sales on our sales team. Head of sales is Laughter. Obviously, your first days you'll have all have to wear name badges. But you'll have to write the um, write your name backwards. It makes it more interesting that way. Lindsay Lohan's leopard. Tiny Tempers Tarantula, Frankie Frank's Fish, Postman's Pat, his real name is Patrick Clifton. Oh, if he's going by that name, he can't come then. Postman Pat can, but Patrick Clifton cannot. Harry Hill's Hedgehogs, Greta Garbo's Guinea Pigs. <laughs> See, look at that. This is just like, it's a goer, isn't it? It's definitely a goer. We're going to be rich. Melissa McCarthy's Mallard. I can do a CAT scan and produce lab reports with my pet black Labrador. <laughs> uh, and that's why you are working reception, Chris Harrison. You, you can keep our guests entertained. And on their post care, you can give them a call and tell all our clients they don't like it up them. Uh, Allison's aggressive alligator. Yeah, yeah. Are we naming celebrity animals? Uh, it kind of, but I, I have uh, revealed that my occupation, I am a veterinarian to the stars, but uh, the clinic only allows pets with alliteration names with their owners. So Bill Bailey's Badger, Bilbo Baggins Bonobo, um, Tiny Tim's Tiger, <laughs> um, Moody's Mouse, uh, Melinda Messenger's Manatees, Susan Sarandon's Serval, I have no idea what server it is. Christopher Clex chimpanzee. Boris Becker's bear. Boris Becker's bear. Amazing. I can be pet emotional support hugs and petting for every pet. Pocket poet is chief petter. Pocket poet pepper. Pe pe blah, 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 blah. Pocket poet petter. There we go. See? Perfect. Perfect fit for my alliteration. What was it? Christopher Clex celebrity creature click. You couldn't say that if you had a speech impediment, could you? Christopher Collect Celebrity Creature Care Clinic. Serval is a wild cat. Oh, I see. So Susan Sarandon has a wild cat. Steven Seagal's Seagulls. Mickey Mouse's Man. <laughs> Janet Jackson's Jaguar. Is it Jaguar? Jaguar. Did you see one of Bungle's videos? He says, if you have any old rubbish, you can send it to me. I did see that video, yes. <laughs> what a video that was. What an absolute corker of a video. Adam, uh, Amy Holy Adams, Toledo. Alpaca. Uh, Zuhair Gamer has joined the Hunter over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. Very kind of you. Johnny Henderson wants to be a surgeon. Well, what's your, what's your what's your skill you bring in? Because uh, I've got the I've got the hands. That's why I can get through the coins quick. It's all that practice, all that all that surgery. That does it. See, we 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 are we are um revealing all today. Priscilla Presley's pang pa pangolin pangolin. What on earth is a pangolin? I've heard of a pagoda. I have heard of a pagoda, not a pangolin though. Minnie Mouse's monkey. Uh, Peace to the world. Woohoo, just hit 277 subs over on YouTube. Well done. Very good going. Uh, 
Sarah Silverman's Salamander. Christopher Collette's Colourful Casual Wear Side Angle. There we go. There we go. It's a roaring trade. It's a, a roaring trade. A scaly anteater. Is that what a, a pangolin is? I see. I see. I say. I see. Peter Piper's Pickled Pepper Pete. There we go. Farrah Fawcett's Flamingo. Greg's Goatee. Peter Pan's Peacock. Willy Wonka's Wabbit. I heard the silver two pound coin crying. <laughs> I sent it to Bungle to, to, to do that. Though. It had a horrible, horrible stain on it. And I was not happy with it. So I thought, who was going to want a tarnished silver coin? Of course it's Bungle. Of course Bungle wants it. Liam says, can I ask a question? Yes, you can. You can ask one more question, because that is in itself a question. What if I said no and banned you because you asked a question? Roland Rat's Raccoon. Willy Wonka's Wolf. Dolly's Dog. Exacto Monday. Right, so we are, this is the last handful of coins. Oh, man, we have flown through these. I've had a whale of a time. Uh, talking about my, my my occupation and my clientele and my... Oh, no, we've got one more bag. Tell a lie. Stop asking questions. No, no, don't, you don't need to do that. Has anyone got any ideas for a challenge video? Um, um, you have to name. Uh, oh, that was it. We were doing it at work. People who has who have first and second names that are first names. So Cliff Richard, because Cliff is a first name. Richard is a first name. Uh, Elton John, both first names. Um, Putin's Panda, Ted's Tiger, Lucy Lou's Limpet, Christopher Collect's Catfish. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Um, there you go. That, that sounds like a very good challenge video. Very good challenge video. Jesse James. There we go. Jesse James. Jesse James is a uh, 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 Jaguar. Paddington's Parrot. Brian May. Is, oh, is May a first name? I guess it is, yeah. Tarzan's Tigers. Pat's Pig. Freddie Flintoff's Foxes. <laughs> Sid James. Trump's Tadpole. Hmm. Hmm. Has to be first and surname. First and surname has to be alliteration as well. New rule. New rule. Well, we got a new, we got one. F for Fish and Chips 2019. Is it a new one for the book, though? I don't know. Because I can never recall what I have and haven't got. Nope, we've already got it. It's a duplicate. But it's a lovely coin. A wonderful coin. We also got a jersey and a uh, Gibraltarian partridge, too. So, success. Fantastic success. We're going to go over to the gallery view for a moment. Um, I'm going to go wash my hands in a minute. George Michael. There we go. Roger Taylor. I said John, Johnny Carson, because Carson is a first name, isn't it? Carson, because there's Carson, um, who am I trying to think of? There is someone whose first name is Carson, another famous person. Ray Charles, very good. Jack and Denise went up the hill to raid the wishing well. Jack came down with half a crown and Denise got three Q Gardens. <laughs> very good. Donald Duck's Dragonfly, yes. Oh, Andy Williams, Williams. It's close, it's close. Carson Wells. Is it Carson Wells I was thinking of? Carson Daly. Who's Carson Daly? That rings a bell. Oh, is he the person on What's My Line? No, that's Arthur. Is it Arthur Daly? John Terry, yeah. Andy Williams. Uh, who's the host of What's My Line? That's someone daily. It's someone daily. Um, 
How many coins do you have in your ro vote, Robert Roberts? Who knows? Who knows? Right, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'm just sat here. I'm going to have to figure out who I was thinking of. I'm back in a moment. There we go. I couldn't find the button for, for sound again. Uh, right, I am going to... Caledonia Coins is off. We'll see you see you at 6pm, definitely. I will endeavour to be there. Uh, I'm going to set up the straw pole. Straw pole. Da, 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 da. Favourites. Favourites. J. J. Redesign. Christopher collects. All right, how many have we got? 12, 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to vote as soon as I get to 24. Twenty-three, twenty-four. There we go. Create the poll. Very good. Copy the link. I'm going to stick it over on YouTube. Make sure I've got no sound on. Otherwise, we're going to get echo. And hearing one of me is plenty enough. Where's it gone then? Where's my? Ch <laughs> Why can't I see my own live stream? Come on, Christopher. There we go. Found it. Had public comments. There we go. I think I've just put that in the wrong video. That's not the right video. What a donut. There we go, it's in. You can go vote for your favourite designs. I can see if I can beat Total Coins, come on. Come on. No, pff, I haven't even loaded up Twitch yet, he's already beaten me. Total Coins is far too quick. Uh, hello Scoot. Uh, right, uh, what's my line? That was what I was going to do. What's my line host? What's my line host? John Daly, that's who I was thinking of. Deary dear. Right, so go and vote for your favourite redesign. I'm going to go for... Hmm... Not saying. I've got to vote, otherwise I can't see the results. Oh, it's it's it's. Uh, we've had twenty-six votes already. It's going well. It's going well. How does he get the link before you do? Uh, who knows? Who knows? He is uh, Mr. Technology, or oh, Bill Gates, Total Coins. Miley Cyrus is Cyrus a name? I guess it is, isn't it? So glad to be with your with your live stream. Thank you very much, Philip. Bruce Wayne. That's a good one. That's a good one. What is 16? Number 16 is um, uh, Jarrow, Jarrow Rally? Jarrow Crusade? Total jobs. <laughs> very good. <laughs> dear, dear. Oh, yeah, of course, because uh, obviously um, Master Temple is Bill Gates. The Bill Gates of the group. 
Jaro March, that's what it is apparently. Kunza Harry's Nan. Smash that like button, thank you very much. All right, a bit, bit of a public health announcement. I vape, you shouldn't vape. Don't vape because you will spontaneously combust. And if you'd like to share any other pieces of life advice, feel free to. Bill Bailey, yeah. Bill Burr, Bill Burr's baboon. Bill Burr's baboon can come to the veterinarian surgery as well. Maybe I'll go and chat on YouTube and leave Duncan sample to represent our living room on Twitch. I see. I see. Do we have... Um, well, I don't know where I put it. Maybe not. Next week. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Don't punch pigeons. Very sound advice, uh, Patrick Woods. Very sound advice. Don't punch pigeons. Don't be cool and give your child a double-barreled name. There we go. What's number 25? Number 25 is... There isn't a 25. What are you on about? Am I vaping? It's uh, some sort of sherbet berry mixture. Four-year-old thinks YouTube is a good idea. Fantastic. Don't drink water while swimming. Okay. <laughs> Wait, it was Belfast. Goodness gracious. That's the one exception. He cannot come. He cannot come. But that did make me chuckle. That was a dark, dark joke. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, my daughter is Ma Lee. It's double barreled. There we go. James May. Mm-hmm. Live life, live life to its fullest. Hundred percent. 100%. Eight designs can't work out. Right, let's go through them then. Let's go through them. So we have got 1 through 12, Jigsaw, Jack in the Box, Jabba, John Rambo, Jousting, Jam Sandwich, Jamesy B. Hoy Coins, Jack the Ripper, uh, Jack in the Box, Jack and Jill, Jerry from Tom and Jerry, Jam. We then have Justice, Jogging, Jam, Jarrow March, Jesse Jai, John Lennon. This one is Joke of the Day from my uh, court jester. Um, we then have Jam, Jack and Jill, JK Rowling, 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 J4 Jai, uh, and Jack and Jill. They are all the designs. And you can go pick and vote for your favourite. Life advice don't spend my collection, my collected coins on ice cream. Very good. Jarrow March, Crus Crusade in 1936 to protest against unemployment and poverty. There we go. We're learning. We are learning. We've learned what the Jarrow March is or the Jarrow Crusade. Craig Charles. Craig Charles's chinchilla is more than welcome. Right then, we have had 54 votes. In at first place with seven votes is number 18. Number 18 is John Lennon. Number eight is second with five votes. <clears throat> Number eight is Jack the Ripper. Number nine is tied in third, three-way three tie with four votes. Number nine is uh, Jack in the Box. Number 11 is Jerry from Tom and Jerry. And number 13 is Justice. So it is, it is close. It is close. Three votes separate first and joint third. So your votes count this week. We have no runaway winner at the moment. So make sure you go get your votes in. What was my design? What was my design? What was my design? I also did jam sandwich. Ironically, I don't like jam sandwiches. Who wants to put fruit? Who wants to put fruit in their bread? Blech. Blech. No, 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 no. How much do you think your coin collection is worth? I have the faintest idea. Not even a clue. I couldn't even pick a number off the top of my head. Because I don't have a number on top of my head. I have a fez. I could pick a fez off the top of my head. In fact, I'm going to pick a fez off the top of my head right now. Because we're moving on to some 50ps. And we need the 50p fez. And we all know the power of the 50p fez. We witnessed it last week. Craig Charles is both is both alliterative as well as both names being first names. He's a twin one. He's the, he's the ideal client. He's the he, Just because of that, we're going to charge him double. <laughs> That's the rules. That's the rules. I'm going to be a millionaire. 
Christopher collects, what was it? Clinic care, cat care clinic. Well, I can't remember. <laughs> it was, it was a mouthful. That's all I remember. Banana bread. Oh, I like banana bread. Yeah, but that's a, that's a cake. You can have jam and a cake. You can have jam and a cake. Banana bread is not bread. It's a cake. It's a cake. Right then, 50 peas. I like jam sandwiches. Also, brown sauce on sandwiches. Just brown sauce on a sandwich. Mm. Colour me unconvinced. Right, 50 peas. What are we looking for? Holy Toledo, a coin collector journey. Super chatted saying, hello everyone. Looks like I arrived just in time. Just in time for the 50 peas, yes. You did miss me revealing what my job is today. <laughs> Kew Gardens, we're missing. We've got a whole page of Olympics here, including the one that apparently doesn't exist. Bizarre that we've got that. Uh, another whole page of Olympics here. We are missing Olympic triathlon, which we're also missing on the videos. Bread pudding. Oh, bread pudding is nice. We've got some of the more recent ones. Jemima Potterduck, Isaac Newton, uh, Peter Rabbit, Flopsy Bunny, and all the way up to Brexit. Nothing beats cheese, cheese and Branson pickle sandwich. Agreed. I love cheese and Branson pickle sandwich. Red sauce and butter on a sandwich. You people eat some weird stuff. You people eat some very, very weird stuff. Marmite on hot buttered crumpets. I don't like crumpets and I don't like marmite, so um, that's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, we've got shields. So shields, we're looking for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, possibly also 20 for years that are not intended for circulation. 2017, as well as a low minted year. Britannia like that would be looking for the year 2008. But I'll be doing that after the live stream. If I spot one whilst we're going, obviously I'll pull it out. But if I don't, don't worry. If you spot it and I don't, don't worry. I will find it at the end. I'll be live. I'll be live. I'll be on my Discord voice chat after the live stream. So head on over to Discord if you're over the age of 13. I'm talking very quickly. The problem is, it's new coffee. It's 100% Colombian coffee. And it's very strong, but it has the side effect that I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going about a million miles an hour. So uh, I apologise if I'm babbling on at a bit of a rate. Was I right? Are you a secret agent? No, I am a veterinarian to the stars. Uh, the, my a veterinarian surgery, we only allow pets uh, that have a, an alliterative name with the owners. So uh, what was it? Boris Becker's ba Badger, um, 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 Pocket Poets, b p p Pelican. Um, I can't think of Robert Roberts Rottweiler. We've got peace, prosperity, and pepperonis, which maketh the breakfast 50p, of course, naturally. How much coffee do you drink every day? Um, 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 a lot. <laughs> Powered by caffeine. Caffeine and nicotine. Oh, Pocket Poets Penguin, that was what it was. That's what it was. Pocket Poets Penguin is a client. But Pocket Poet is also Pocket Poet Petter. She pets the pets. This is turning into pizza pepper pie, pe 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 corn beef pasty. Very nice. What is the last coin you need? We need uh, Olympic triathlon and we also need Q Gardens. Once we get uh, triathlon, I will do a mega 50p live stream hunt. Uh, although I, I can't do that immediately because the bank can't get as they can only just about manage to get my order in. So I can't do a mega hunt yet. But no, how much coffee do I drink? A lot, a lot. I love coffee. It's great. It's amazing. I couldn't, I couldn't function as the human being as uh, that I am today without caffeine. I would be very, very cranky. Omg, the stream is amazing. Thank you very much. Screaming cheese. Would you allow Ken Dog's dad's dog to come to the veterinarian surgery? Ken Dog's dad's dog. Hmm. Mm. Who's who's who did I say was head of PR? We need a head of public relations that can make that decision. We are hiring at the uh, Christopher Klex <laughs> clinic, whatever I can't remember. Creature could I get a, get a, get a clinic. I've just bought a Sainsbury's Makers of the Million Million. I've just bought a Sainsbury's Makers of the Millennium Medal Collection. Complete coin set. Awesome. I found a few of them in my world coin hunts. Do you drink Yakod or Nescafe? Nescafe Gold Blend. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> but they can sponsor me if they want. Uh, uh, Paddington at the Tower, that's the one you want to see. You don't want the cathedral. The cathedral you see all the time, and it's going to be the most common of the two. Mark my words. 
Coin Collector Journey wants to do marketing. What's your special skill? You need to tell us what your special skill is then. And we've got Head of Sales, Laughter. We've got Pocket Poet as the Chief Petter. Uh, I can't remember who I, who I put on reception. I can't remember who I put on reception. Aren't coins in the Royal Mint overpriced? Well, they set whatever price it is. That's the that's going rate. They make them. They can sell them for whatever they want. I don't think they're. I think they're reasonably priced. Obviously, if you're talking about the the ten kilogram gold bullion coins, then yes, a little bit expensive. But here we go. Uh, Team GB, a common one. Oh, I thought that was something. Dictionary there. We all know dictionary's common. We all know that one's a common coin. Bangers and mash with gravy. Ooh. Do you need a gardener? Ah, so head of IT. Yeah, total coins. Oh, um, well, actually, you can be second in command. I want uh, Master Bill Gates Temple as head of IT. You can be his um, underling. Welcome on reception. I'll keep people supplied with tea and coffee. There we go. We've got we've got we've got a um, we've got a, a tea made. Very good. Whoops. Uh, uh, dictionary. Again. And that was yeah, the, the unique selling point of the veterinarian surgery. We have cucumber water, which is water with cucumbers in that makes it taste like cucumber because there's cucumbers in the water. We've got another Brexit. More pepperonis. Lots and lots of pepperonis. Uh, I can be head of nicotine seeing as I work in a vape shop. There we go. Fish, Wonson. Or fish. Fish is going to be head of nicotine at the at the uh, at the clinic. Harry's Land's going to be the cucumber chopper. There we go. They have to be freshly chopped. Freshly chopped. Chop, chopped in the shape of fifty peas as well. I'll have you know. Do you think it's worth investing money in gold bullion? I have no idea. I'm not an investment person. I am not the person to go to on that. I'm afraid, and I don't want to give out any fake news. That's why we're Team Tower. On Christopher Collects. <laughs> Head of petting all the animals. Oh, Pocket Poet has already taken that role. Pocket Poet Petter. Let's see, that's the alliteration. That's how she got the job. Amberly Vicons wants to be head of surgery. No, I'm the surgeon. I've got, I've got the hands. I'm a bit squeamish there. It's the only problem. I have to do it blindfolded. Are the cucumbers whole? No, they're cut to the shapes of 50 peas, of course. Completed my bicolored two pound coin bunk pack collection this week. Wow, awesome. Can't go wrong with gold long term. Yeah. <laughs> How old am I? Uh, I am 28 now. Yeah, 28. It was my birthday last month. <laughs> Queen of the Scalpule. Scalpule? Uh, we got Crazy Eyes himself, Tom Kitten. Ooh, we got our first Olympic. What's this one called again, Total Coins? What's this one called again, Total Coins? Total Coins has his own little name for this one. It's a lovely, lovely find. Can I be the promotional video producer and editor? What's your skill though? What's your skill? Have you got a grievance counsellor yet? No, oh, all the all the hamsters that you that you have lost, coins and more UK, you can do it. There we go. Total coin says it's Olympic horse jumping. There we go. A lovely we found we found we found an we found an alphabet we found an Olympic everything is going to plan today. My business is is um, taking off my alliteration veterinarian surgery. Hoss jumping. Kids Jones will be my eyes <laughs> whilst I'm blindfolded doing the surgery. It's very good. It'd be like that game show that uh, um, who's like into anyway the helping hands. <laughs> nice. I have no Olympics in my collection, but my mum has two. Awesome. Well, I'm sure. Keep on, keep up the hunt. You will find them. That's the only way to do it. A bungle for HR. 
Yes, I think so. I think that's a good that's a good idea. I don't see any problems with that at all. The animal whisperer. Well, what's your skill? You can't you can't just name a job. You got to you got to say what why why you'd be perfect for that job. Do you have a very quiet voice? Is that what it is? Is that what your special skill is? We've got a grubby. What is all these grubby coins about? Victoria across the medals. Well done, you found Harry Houdini's horse. There we go. Mark Day was um, head of branding, of course. Christopher Collects Creature Care Clinic, wasn't it? Did I go to university? I did. I did. It's not veterinarian, it's vet veterinary, veterinary, whatever it is. Well, here's my shop. I can go to what I want. <laughs> Veterinarians. Isn't it veterinarians? I'm saying that right. I, I have, I have a, um, a habit of not pronouncing things right, but there we go. There's another dictionary. What's going on here? Is there a TV in the waiting room that's missing its top? Well, 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 well. You'd have to watch uh, Mr. Bungle's PA box videos to find out. <laughs> I'll be in charge of the medicine cabinet, but Buckfast will always be the remedy. There we go. See, that, that's how you get it. That's how you left. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that's how you land yourself a job at Christopher Collects Creature Clinic, Creature Care Clinic. Well, technically, I found the sailing Olympic in a jar of change she had. I asked to hunt th through it, assuming I could keep what I found, but wouldn't let me have it. How rude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. <laughs> Can I be head of paperwork because I'm a good writer? You spelled because wrong. You're in. <laughs> That's how you land yourself a job at the Christopher Collects Creature Care Clinic. Coins are bug uh, uh, grubby because Bungles handled them all. <laughs> da, 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 da. All these people I'm hiring, we're going to need to, to charge a fortune. We've got Benjamin Binney. He's not signed. He's not stamped. He's just a Benjamin Binney. He's going to get signed, though. He's going to get signed. There we go. It's a one-all draw. Holy we have Pans the Magnanimity. Thank you very, very much to the person who's just joined. I, whatever you, I'm feeling that's a trap. That's a trap. I'm not going to say that. My spidey senses are, t are tingling. Bungle has licked them all. Bungle's a coin touchy. He's not a coin licker, I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah. Christopher Collects Celebrity Creature Care Clinic. Marilyn Monroe's Muskrat. T. Benice wants to be the head of entertainment. What, oh, what's your skill, though? What's your skill, though? We're not just handing out jobs willy-nilly here. Holy Toledo, we've got Olympic number two badminton. Amazing stuff. Can you believe it? Two Olympics. A lot nicer condition than the first Olympic, because that would be Olympic equestrian we found. Was a little bit ropey. Uh, there's Patents of the Magnanimity taking a 2 1 lead, as well it should, as well it should. Hello, the coin collector. Thank you for tuning in. I can't tell if it's cooling down or whether I've just acclimatized to the, to the searing heat. How did you set up your business account with your bank to get these coins? The YouTube channel was my business, and that's how I set it up. <laughs> Grossy coin hunts is going to be the eyebrow plucker. <laughs> um, Christopher, hello Christopher. I'm collecting 50p coins too. I need a queue, obviously, and a few Olympics. Will your Discord server accept trade and swap posts? Do we have a trading section on Discord? Yes. Obviously, you have to be over 13 to join Discord. You then have to meet the criteria um, to join our trading sections. But by all means, head on over. But make sure you read the trading rules thoroughly. All is explained there if you want to join our trading sections. 
Can I put out the animal treats because I'm because I'm very kind and caring? Go on then. Go on then. You're hired. You're hired. Like I said, make sure you write your name backwards on your name badge for the first day. The Thompson Twins Taxidermy Tasmanian Tiger. It just needs a light dusting. <laughs> I can juggle. Perhaps I can be the hamster rotatorer. Definitely. Definitely. Tiffany's can sing. There we go. Man, everyone's getting a, everyone's getting a job. Everybody's getting a job today. Oh, we've got public libraries. The searing heat of amazing stoke. Yes, very much so. It has been a beautiful day. And I'm currently sat. Curtains drawn and spotlights on. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit warm, just a little bit warm, but it's fine because we've got plenty to drink. Stay hydrated. Favourite two pound design, uh, Frankenstein. Oh, there we go. Another dictionary. Can I be the person who plays, who pays the staff? Because I have a lot of money. If you want to pay the staff, you can go for it. If you want to be employed as the person who pays the staff out of your own pocket, then you've got yourself a job. <laughs> Another dictionary. All these dictionaries, unbelievable stuff. My goodness, another one. Another one. All this paperwork. Who was my head of paperwork? I'm done with hamsters and emigrating after my windfall oh, this week. There you go. You said you have a business account. Is the vets your business? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for joining the hunt team. Dibbly dibbly dee. Uh, are you warm and drinking a hot coffee? The hot coffee has gone. Has, uh, blah, 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 blah. The coffee has gone cold now. <laughs> More dictionaries than your average library. Good evening. Hope you are doing well. Thank you very much. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast fifty p. Representation of the people act. Another common one, but a design that I like. What's going on here? What's happened to this? Someone's attacked it. Someone has attacked this coin. I can file all junk mail in the bin. That, that could be a job, but what's your skill? Why should I hire you, particularly? Tiny Tempest Tiger. There we go. Uh, Shawnee Henderson is head of paperwork. There you go. You, all those dictionaries, they need uh, alphabet, alphabetizing, please. Hmm. I'm going to keep that. Oddity. One for the oddities box. Been stuck under something for a while, that one. Possibly, yeah. That could be it. Fake. I don't think it's fake. I think just someone has damaged it. How do you think it's happened then? What do you think? Do you think someone's just gone... Zzzz? Danny DeVito's duck, yes. Another one. See, all these pets are going to be... I'll make a fortune. Sherlock Holmes, hashtag team no hope. No hope at all. Oh, dear. And it's all equalised. It's two all tower cathedral. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll find plenty more towers. No concerns. No worries. No concerns. Uh, it's been milled. Someone's used a hammer. It could have been stuck inside a machine. Very true. Fake tire. Someone's put it what, under a tire. Steven Spielberg's spider. That's another pet. Another another um, frequent uh, pet that we see. Can it be the animal karma? Uh, good and calm. Good at calming animals down. Go for it. You're hired. You've got yourself a job. Another dictionary. Goodness gracious, Shawnee, all that paperwork you've got to file there. Unbelievable stuff. K 
Katie Jones Coins has finally made a team decision this th today. What team are you on then? What team are you on? Are you on the winning team? Or have you joined the losers on the losing team? Have you ever considered getting a coin pusher made? Uh, I haven't, no. Christopher collects. Robert Roberts. Are you emptying my bank already? I'll have to find a new job. You signed a ten year you signed a ten year contract here. You signed a ten year contract. You didn't you should have read the small print. Oh dear. And the tower takes the lead. Three two, but it's fine, because this is the one that you want to see more of, because it's gonna be rarer. That's how it works. That is definitely how it works. Bungle is here. Hello, I have no sound, so I'm trying to work out what's happening by reading the comments. <laughs> Everyone say I found a cue. Everyone say I found a cue. Everyone say I found a cue. Look. You found a cue. It's a cue. Q. Q. <laughs> Kira Knightley's kangaroo. Yes, very true. Very good. Another another pet. Katie Jones is officially on Team Tower. There we go. Katie Jones wants to win this year. Welcome to the team. You can sign at the front desk. Agent Hole is manning the uh, the uh, the applicants. Um, girl guiding. Very common. They're a little bit wonky, aren't they? I have too much caffeine today. There we go. It's tied again. It's okay. It's three all. Cathedral ta 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 Three all cathedral tower. Bungle got sound yet? Has Bungle got sound yet? We need to tell him about his new job. He's been recruited. Bungle, you've been recruited. You've got a new job. Report Monday. <laughs> I can't wait for Team Tower to lose and Christopher find a way to wriggle his way out. It's not going to happen, Gracie. It's not going to happen. Not in a million years. You're head of the. You're head of a team that isn't even competing. <laughs> We're definitely going to win. We're definitely going to win. Liam is Team Cathedral. Liam doesn't want to win. Liam does not want to win. He's on the on the on the loser cruiser. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Keep your eye out on Trev's channel and you'll see why. There we go. Olympic Queen Swimming. Very good. Very, very good. Way. Oh my goodness! I've had too much caffeine. My hands are not working. This is not going to be. This is not a good um, advert advert advertisement for the Christopher Clex Celebrity Creature Critters Caring Clinic. That was the name, right, Mark? That was it, right? <laughs> I think it definitely was. Uh oh, we've got buffering. Are we still live? Are we still working? What's going on? We are still live. It's all good. It's probably just my tablet. I see that Katie has betrayed the South End crew. Uh, joining the winning team is not a betrayal. For Bungle, do you want to know about your new job? What is that? Someone's putting love letters in their coin bags. One pound sixty? I hope not. I hope there's more than one pound sixty in this bag. Goodness gracious. Outrageous. We're live. We're still live. We're still here. It's all good. Serious talk time. Not enough likes on the videos. Hide the chat and smash the thumbs up button. Thank you very much, laughter. <laughs> A lucky letter. Could it be a lucky letter? Is the is the one pound sixty letter going to give us that Q Gardens? Let's have a look. This is the last bag of the hunt as well. A 
If I find a cube in this bag, I will eat the lucky letter. <laughs> no, unlucky letter. It goes in the bin. The unlucky letter goes in the bin. However, the last bag was not particularly lucky. We did, though, find two Olympics. One a bit gross, one nice quality, but there we go. Uh, Tez Hall says, can I be head of tech as I like the tech jobs? Unfortunately, Master Temple, Master Bill Gates Temple is um, head of IT. You were saved sickness from eating that piece of paper. <laughs> Pots. Pool Pots. We'll go Pool Pots, the singer. We <laughs> won't go him. We won't use him. His pterodactyl is more than welcome to the Christopher Clegg Celebrity Creature Critter Clinic. Okay, Critter Crit Crit Care Clinic. That was it, wasn't it, Mark? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We have had too much coffee today and we have no sign of, sh of slowing down. Right, so we're going to go over to the gallery view. We're going over to the gallery view when I find the button. There it is. So be sure to go get your votes in. Your votes count. It was very close at the top. My first job has boss of IT is to delegate all duties to total coins. There we go. <laughs> this called crashed badly last night. Oh, did it? Major outage. I see. I see. If that is a silent P, is it really an alliteration? Very good point. Very, very good point. You need to find someone that's got a silent P at the start of their name. Hello, Jocelyn Williams. Thanks for tuning in. There we go. Robert Roberts is, is campaigning for people to hit that like button. Thank you very much, Robert Roberts. Love number three, Jabba. It's very good, isn't it? It's very, very good. Be sure to go vote for your favourite, though, because the votes do matter today. It was very close to the top when we last checked. I'm going to go wash my hands, though, because I've been touching coins, and apparently, according to Robert Roberts, Bungle licks all the coins, and that's why they get so dirty. So I'm going to go wash the Bungle spittle off my fingers. And we're back. We are back. We are very much back. So then, how's the voting going? How is the voting going? Ooh, number 18 is running away with it a little bit. Number 18 is John Lennon with 10 votes. Second place is tied between three. Number Juan Jigsaw. Uh, number eight is Jack the Ripper. 13, Justice, all tied for second place, which leaves number 11, which is Jerry, in third place. So there we go. We've got a bit of a runaway winner here. We've got a little bit of a runaway winner. Team BBYT runs an unboxing channel. Is that um, people boxing in reverse? Is that what that is? Anyway, we're moving on to two pound coins. We're moving on to two pound coins. Two pound coins. We are missing Scotland Commonwealth Games, which I believe is the only one we're still looking for now. And we've got them all, including full flag Navy Centenary Error, Eror, 
But there we go. The only one we don't want to find is Commonwealth Games Wales. Because that's the one we are stuck on on the videos. If we find one of them, I'll be most disappointed. And I might just throw my toys out of the pram. Hello, Stevie Rob. Thank you for tuning in. How do you enter the K redesign competition? So yeah, we're redesigning the letter of the alphabet. K is next week. Send it to me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. Um, or post it on your your um, social medias and tag me in it. And if I don't reply to say I've entered it, just keep messaging me until I do. <laughs> right, scissors are going in the pot, so don't lose them. Right then. Two pound coins. Whales are about... I don't we know that, Master Temple. Don't we know that? Am I allowed to say? Am I allowed to say? I don't know if it's... Is, is it common? Oh, yeah, it is common knowledge. I watched the video last night. Yeah, Master Temple found a Commonwealth Games Wales, of course. Master Temple is very lucky. Not just with his finds. The deals that you are striking at the moment. Holy Toledo. Florence Nightingale there. Another common one, but it's a cool design. It's probably my favourite circulating £2 coin. And there is Florence Nightingale. A common one, but a nice design. Probably my favourite uh, circulating design of a £2 coin. Who's going deja vu? Wireless transmissions. The lady must be in a good mood. <laughs> Brunel's achievements, the arches at Paddington stations. I'm sorry I'm going to have to go, but I may be back later. I'll follow you on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Liam. Is there an echo in here? An echo in here? An echo in here? I don't know, laughter. Lord Kitchener there. Another common one. Uh, we are getting a little package together for you, Christopher. Stamps, year 2000 coins, and a few Star Wars goods. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Right. Should we do an edge hunt? What can you spot? What can you spot, if anything? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, mule. Okay, my simple. We'll have a look in a minute. Can you see? Can you see anything? Anything? Anyone for anything? The Juan, apparently. I don't think so. Have I had your package in the PRX? I managed to get down for the first time in a couple of months uh, this afternoon. So, I'm not even saying no, nothing. Oh, we got something. Oh dear. We missed it. Many irons in the fire. Brunel's achievements, the arches at Paddington Station. We lose. No points for us. No cheap top of television sets for Bungle. That's a sad day. Oh yeah, Kitchener, Mule. Right, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Nope, it says two pounds at the bottom. That is fine. That's not the one we want. Diddly. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Unfortunately, it wasn't diddly, was it? We got caught out there. That was a case of the dillies, though. <laughs> Don't back it too slowly. Apologies, Duncan. Right then. Let's have another chance. Let's have another chance. We'll wait for Duncan to say no this time. If Duncan says no, then we know there's nothing in here. Because Dunkel... Dun Dunkel? <laughs> Duncan Sample is eagle-eyed. For my second £2 coin album, which I started ages ago, I started with all the above face values. I wouldn't proceed until I had them all. Can you believe I cannot find a Trinity house and a Trevithic? Amazing. Number seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, nope. Number seven is just Duda. Second one, I don't think so. Seven is looks like it's just a week, weekly struck one. Duncan says no. Duncan says no. There we go. Diddly. One more? One more. Go on. It's gonna be one more, right? Robert Roberts says there's nothing there as well. Hmm. 
I'll just refresh my live stream on YouTube because it's a it's got I'm very far behind. Anyone see anything? Anyone see anything? Anyone can see anything? Win points. You'll win points if you spot something, and it is something. Did you find any 10 pieces today so far? I have found F for fish and chips. Unbelievable coins. Caesar Navy. Third from bottom. One, two, three. I think you got something right. I think it is something there. What does it say? Many irons in the fire. Many irons in the fire. Bring those arches again. I think eight and seven. Mm. Hello, I forgot you are on a Saturday. How was your week? It was very good, thank you. We're only on Saturday today, though. Be sure to tune in next week on Sunday, because I'll be back Sunday. Right, I don't think we have anything else, have we? Nope. Deedly. I'll just be hunting myself. No videos. That's being left to the professionals. <laughs> if I'm, if I, if you're classing me as one of the professionals, I worry. I worry. Focus is off a little bit. Oh, I see. Oh, 2016. Britannia? Do we think Britannia? Do we think Britannia? Do we think Britannia? Britannia. Very nice. Total Coins says, yes, remember to tune in next Saturday at 6 p.m. for Total Coins' live stream. Total Coins will be live next Saturday at 6 p.m. Caledonian Coins is going to be live at 6 p.m. tomorrow, though. My usual slot, Caledonian Coins is going to be filling. So if you add a loose end, because I'm not streaming tomorrow evening, head on over to Caledonian Coins' channel. <gasps> Can you believe it? A Basingstoke comedy. A Basingstoke comedy. They're not just up in Bungleland. Holy Toledo. What's the age description on this? Because I've not, I've not checked it. All. All the world. All the world's a stage. All the world's a stage. Holy Toledo. We never find the, these down local to me. Bungle's got the wool. <laughs> Found a comedy in Change the other day, says Jamesy Behoy. Awesome. What a find. Unbelievable stuff. Big Bungle style sweepstake on next week's live stream. Oh, it's sweepstakes. We've got Florence Nightingale there. It's a fairly common one. It's, one of my, it's probably my favourite um, circulating £2 coin design. Deja vu. Where's the echo coming from? <laughs> Neil Henderson. Goodness gracious. Outrageous. Oh, Robert Burns. Another nice one as well. Followed by another wireless transmissions. We're not getting much variety in the common ones, are we? Well done. Recently, CoinPig found a comedy, but it wasn't a good condition like yours. Well, there we go. They're out there, apparently. They are out there, apparently. They have migrated down south. When you go to the Royal Mint, I don't think you can book tours yet. And I think the general consensus is the first time we all go back down, we're not going to announce it. Just with obviously with the social distance and everything that's happening at the moment, um, it, it probably isn't isn't going to be a good idea, everyone coming down. So uh, there'll, be, there'll be a small group of us. Um, but I think we'll, go, we'll, we'll wait until later in the year, another trip to announce it to everyone, because I think it's not, that isn't the time, if they open at the end of, they're opening the end of July, so in August, if things are still a bit, a little bit uh, odd, like they have been, I think it's it'd be sensible, and I think most of you will agree, that um, we don't want to encourage more people to be coming down um, than usual. So that that's my opinion, anyway. And I've just I've discussed it with a couple of coin tubers, and I think we're all of the same mindset there. 
So apologies if that, if that ends up being the case, but um, yeah, we just feel like that is um, sensible. And that's not to say that we don't want to see you guys, we love it. Uh, I don't, I speak on behalf of myself, and I'm sure the other coin tubers will agree. Um, we absolutely love meeting you guys. Uh, we love seeing you, uh, being able to see meet you in person, you people that uh, support us with your watching our videos, liking them, commenting, reaching out to us, uh, sending us kind messages, kind words, sending us letters and things. Uh, we love to, we'd love to meet more of you in person, but it's just not the right time, is it? But anyway, I'm gonna have some caffeine. Oh wait, and drink up and meet somebody. <laughs> Let's be safe. Exactly. Exactly. But no, sure, surely later in the year, if everything returns to some semblance of normality, uh, then by all means we will be. We'll go, I'm sure we'll go back to, say, to letting you guys know when we're going to be there. Guy Fawkes again. Not again. We haven't had it today. What am I on about? That was a proof coin, you think? I did see a shiny one. It was a 2011, wasn't it? I think it's proof. Mm. That's 2015. I don't know. Not convinced. Not convinced. That is definitely not a proof coin. That is gross. That was the right one, wasn't it? Oh no, it was this one. It was this one. Hmm. Anyone else think? Anyone else think? It's a proof one? I don't think so. I think it's just every now and again you do find these shiny ones, don't you? Proof finish. Let's have a look. This that's, that is a normal shiny one. Not proof. It's shiny though. I'll tell you what. We'll keep the twenty eleven then. We'll keep the twenty eleven. The twenty fifteen. We well, find loads of shiny twenty fifteen ones. Looks well cared for. <laughs> pet peeves and pet shout outs. They will save them for the for the for the last bag of ten peas. They'll be coming along soon. We've got Charles Dickens. Very common. Oh, Act of Union. Very nice, but common. Proofs are frosted. Yeah. I would have thought, at best, an unser a brilliant uncirculated one. If it's like from a 2011 set, maybe. I don't know, though. I don't know. It's shiny for sure. I granted that. We've got Trevithic. Trev is terrific. <laughs> Trevithic. Trevithic. Teague Benice would maybe like to go one day. Well, it was a fantastic day out. Act of Union again. For a nine-year-old coin, it's in for a nine-year-old coin, it's in very good condition. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> That's almost what I said, Aviation Media. That was almost what I went to say, but I thought no, no, don't be mean. We're all friends here. All friends here. Even Bungle. Abolition of the slave trade. Obviously the circulating one with the textured inner part, not the smooth finish. Don't forget change trekker cards this time. I think I'm out. I think I'm after them. I think we did the last of Robert Roberts ones last live stream. Meanwhile, let's all say what we're grateful for. We would, yeah, that we'll definitely do that. Um, we've got Britannia again. So we had 2016 Britannia, which is a very desirable coin. 2015 has a lower minted, a lower mintage, and all the subsequent years, to the best of our knowledge, are uncirculated. What do we think? What do we think? 2015? 
Gracie thinks it's only 15. Hope you're well. You've been working over this. Yes, I have. I've My work has been uninterrupted. I was made a key worker. <laughs> I've got the letter and everything to prove it. <laughs> so if I got stopped and asked, why are you outside your house? Um, that's why. 2026, says Nache. Man, if this is a 2026 dated coin, that would be awesome. See, they're bringing some more change checker cards out. Who thinks they should do territory trading cards? Oh, 100%. That'd be fab, wouldn't it? Right, it is a 2016 again. We've got our second 2016 Britannia. Very nice. Fantastic stuff. Nothing else. Did you get your Star Wars coins? Um, I was going to ask. I was going to ask you about the Rob Ross. I'll send a picture of the, of the thing. I think the one I think it is. I should make sure it's right. I wonder if the four-year-old would already be able to enjoy visit to the mint. I did buy Peter. Peter Bunny, Peter Rabbit, for the bump in 2016. Just kicking myself now that I didn't get them all that year. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's a, the, the the tour guys at the Royal Mint experience. Uh, what I've said time and time and time again, they make it entertaining for the kids, and they don't dumb it down so much that those of us grown ups there um, get bored of the tour. They do a very very good job of their tours um, for all ages. I think would thoroughly enjoy it. That's a DNA double he helix, the deoxy ribery blah 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 blah. Exciting stuff. Three bags to go. Three bags to go. Points mean prizes, don't they? Just points mean prizes, but only redeemable by ripping off the top of your television set and sending them to Bungle's P.O. Box, of course. Charles Dickens there. I think that's going to be something. Go to these ones. What do we think? What do we think this is going to be? Hmm. Stacey Lee thinks it's going to be Navy. What do you think? Ich denke das. Navy, Navy, fire. 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 Am I allowed to say fire? <laughs> Shakespeare. Navy. Great fellow London, great fellow London, great fellow London, great fellow London. It could be. It could be either. Either, either, neither, neither. Can't be Navy. Doesn't say two pounds. Mm. Don't know. Navy with the flag. London Fire. Shakespeare. Let's have a look. It is Great Fire London. What a stunner. What an absolute stunner. We've had so much luck finding those recently. Those and the um, navies. They have been absolutely superb. Right, last bag. We're doing both the last two bags together. Together, wherever. Oh dear, what's this one then? What's this dirty coin about? Corroded. It's nothing though. I can see the caffeine in your hand. The caffeine is there. Just there. And it's almost empty. We're almost out. We've got the magnanimity. Peace. Uh, what, is it? what does it actually say? In goodwill. In goodwill, peace, magnanimity. I've got it upside down. I'm reading it. <laughs> In victory, magnanimity, peace, goodwill. There we go. Let's start moving these down. We've run out of space. I think we're a bit zoomed in. A bit zoomed in more than we usually are. Oh, Bruno's achievements again. Go there. We have got Lord Kitchener. Is it the mule? It is not the mule. This says two pounds. No. You see the caffeine in my hands are shaking. Well, they are a little bit, aren't they? It's this Colombian coffee. This Colombian coffee. It it'll, it'll blow your hat. It blow your hat off. It blew my fez off. That's why I've got this on now. But it's very, very good. It tastes like three cups of coffee squeezed in, squeezed into one. Have you moved your lights? No, the lights stay the same. You can... Anyway, <laughs> Starfine is definitely, 
Shakespeare comedies, look at that. We don't find any of these down south. What's going on? This one has emigrated. It has slipped out of Bungleland and landed in Amazing Stoke. Fantastic stuff. Right. The rest of these can all go back into the bag. So, we'll go back to this view. You can go get your votes in for your favourite letter J or J redesign. We've got some awesome, awesome entries. Is it the Nescafe one? It's um, it's a uh, Tassimo, Tassimo. I think I need coffee. Fifteen hours awake, man oh man. I I can't remember the last time I was awake for that long. <laughs> think you need water, not coffee. You can't drink water. The stuff makes you rust. Goodness gracious, all that iron inside you, it can't be good, it can't be good. <laughs> but no, so I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be back momentarily and we'll have a look at the, how the vote's going. And we're back. Well, we've got that on crooked, haven't I? That's not a good job there. Goodness gracious. Good golly, Miss Molly. Right. Um, this tassily thing is really annoying. How's the voting going? We have had 79 votes. Number 18 has stretched further into the lead. What is number 18? It is John Lennon. Uh, in joint second place, we've got number one, which is Jigsaw. And number eight which is Jack the Ripper, which leaves a two-way tie in third place, number 11, which is Jerry, and 13, which is Justice, both on six points, six votes. Wowee, well. Number 18 is rocketing into the lead on this, on this uh, competition. But we've still got a couple more rounds worth of voting to get through. Stacey Lou needs the straw poll link. I'm sure someone can do it. I'm sure someone will do it. Right, I need more nicotine. Robert Roberts has got 11,127 coins. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Mackenzie. Anybody signed Benjamin Bunnies? I know I have. I know... Laughter has. I know Lady Emma Bungle have. I know Master Temple has. Who else has signed a Benjamin Bunny this week? Put it in circulation. Let me know. Let me know. Mm, no one's posting it on Twitch. I'll do it. I'm going to beat Total Coins to it. Twitch, 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 Twitch. How do I get to my own one? There you go. Straw poll link. Monty's going to sign them, definitely. Whether you're a coin tuber, whether you're a viewer, sign your Benjamin Bunnies. Take a picture of them and tag me in it. Post, post a link, tag me and all the other coin tubers in it. We'd love to see them. 
We would love to find your thingy what's it's my final two pound coin arrived today. Claim of rights was expensive that I can imagine. I can imagine. I'm gonna take it up a notch and release a queue and sign a queue to release in circulation. Oh coins are more. Coins are more if you do that. <laughs> it's not so bad but Benjamin Bunny, there's twenty five million of them. Even if every one of my subscribers signed one there would only be 40,000. What are the laws on writing on coins? Is it not classed as defacing coins? I don't think so. Not writing on it. We're not damaging them. Makamula signed one and sent the picture via email. Awesome. I'll have to check. I'll dig through my emails. I had a clear out the other day. Got rid of all the junk mail. Stacey Lee's got three votes. That's awesome. That's awesome. I saw some of you can't advertise on coins. Fair enough. I've put new mister on mine. How <laughs> did he? amazing. Very, very good. Right, the coffee's empty. The coffee is empty. It's all downhill from here. There's no more caffeine to be had. Right, 10 peas. 10 peas, 10 peas, 10 peas. Well, we found one today already. Scissors in the pot. Scissors are still in the pot. Have you ever found a signed coin in circulation? I haven't, no. But um, I think four pe four, five people have found eight of mine. Five people have found eight of mine, I think, at the last count. Don't quote me on that because my memories are pooling. Pet shout out say 100%. We'll get through a couple of bags and then we'll do pet shout outs. And then we'll move swiftly on to pet peeves of the week. There is always more caffeine to be had. Yes. I don't need to go make it though. Well, I've pet shout outs and pet hates. We'll, wait, we'll go a couple of bags in. We'll go a couple of bags in before we do that. How's that? Let's see what we can find. See how lucky we can get. Oh dear. Gross. Pet peeves are going to be interesting this week. <laughs> it's always good fun. Talking about pet peeves is is has been awesome fun. It's very cathartic getting getting it all out there. But not yet. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on to your horses. Especially if you're Houdini. What was that one? It was a shield. It was diddly. Absolute diddly. I think it's just a bit of paint. Nothing special. Nothing special. Right then, if you've got a pet and you want to shout out for your pet, now is your chance. Let me know. As long as your pet's not called Roger. We do prejudice against pet school Roger around here. So go ahead and we'll give your pets all give all your pets shout outs. Come back. Uh, Diggory, Bob the cat, Roxy the dog, Midnight the fox who. <laughs> Travels the grass field near Stacy Lou. Peter the rabbit gets a shout out. Hattie the dog. Ralphie doodles. My pet spider Pixie. Uh, Bobby the cat. Um, Bally the late dog. I'm sorry to hear that, Nashe. Uh, Pickle the dinosaur. Sarah and Jonathan the pet humans. Humans. Uh, Struffy the dog and Sky the hamster. Coffee in the vault. Snacks the puppy, L Lucy the black lab, Buttons and Fudge the guinea pigs, uh, Shadow the staffy, um, anyone else got pets? Hepzibar the chihuahua, Del Boy Creek branch and the fish, <laughs> very good aviation media. I 
I haven't missed Ozzy, have I? I haven't missed Ozzy. I'm sure Ozzy's still there. Whether the, the cat who watches every week. <clears throat> Monster the Otter. <laughs> God. Daisy the Cat, Terence the Tick. Got to go now. Arsenal are on the radio. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, John Saunders. Simon the Rattlesnake. How are my pets? My pets are fine, thank you. The cat has been enjoying sunbathing. You'll get me next time. I think not. I did not just fall out the lemon tree. Gobby the parrot. <laughs> oh, Darren Cheshire. And down the donkey. There we go. I think that's all our pet shout outs done. I think that's all our pet shout outs done. So if you've got any pet peeves, what's your pet peeve of the week? Mine was today, driving home from work, a big old Land Rover decided it wanted to be in my lane. It was, t it was uh, not the next lane, the lane along. It wanted to be in my lane, cut right across me. Almost, I had to put my, put, smash, slam on my brakes to avoid having a um, Land Rover sitting on my bonnet. Of course, I beat my horn for about 20 minutes. <laughs> I was not a happy camper. Me driving the BMW, I'm the one that's not supposed to indicate. Not the Land Rover. I indicated my um, frustration. Rain on your weekend off. Oh no. That sucks. I'm hoping to go to Blackpool next week and change 300 pounds into 20 P's. Ooh. <laughs> Gonna get me a kiss me quick hat. What's a kiss me quick hat? You missed my dog shout out. I'm sorry, Jane. It's Evie the dog. There we go. What color is my car? It's black. When you think your nail varnish is dry and then it smudges, oh. I've not had hands-on experience with that, but I can imagine that'd be frustrating. Company's trying to scam money out of you, says Stacey Lee. Oh dear, not good, not good at all. People stealing my lunch at work. Outrageous, how dare they? People who order massive takeaways then have a Diet Coke. <laughs> Deary dear. Some, I guess some, some people might just like the taste of the diet drink better. I don't drink diet anything though. I think it's disgusting. I'd rather drink puddy, carbonated puddle water than diet cake. Running out of Mawam. Oh dear. I do like Mawam. Especially the Coca-Cola Mawam. Oh man, are they, are they is that good? Diet Coke just tastes better. No. No. Disagreed. Disagree. Diet soda is grim. When the milk turns when making a brew. Oh, I know. When you pour it in, it all floats to the top. And you're like, what is going on there? When I'm sewing, are my thread knots? Oh, dear. Unprotected sneezes. Oh, no one is doing that anymore, are they? Surely not. That is a big no-no. There'd be riots. There'd be riots. People who are rude. Agreed. Please say, holy Toledo. When all your friends can't get along and you don't have enough popcorn to eat whilst you watch what happens. When cutting my toenails and they fly everywhere. Ugh. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Going on a toenail hunt. When you run out of cheesecake. Ah. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't see that ringing, is it in my ear? Ooh, we got a territory. 1992, a very good year. Guernsey. Lovely stuff. 
That's a keeper for sure. Uh, people who take their masks off to cough or sneeze. Why? Why are people doing that? <laughs> that is absolute stupidity. Why would you do that? When you find a toner at the bottom of your bottle of monk juice. Oh. When you find a toenail in a drink that you've purchased and drunk. That is disgusting. That is revolting. <clears throat> when you think well, you've won the lottery, then you realise you forgot to put it on. Whoops. Oopsie. When your babysitter lets you down because of work. So quick... Night instead of what? So quick night instead next month. Fair enough. I don't. I don't see. When your sixteen-year-old daughter chugs your Budweiser when you're not looking. Oh my goodness! <laughs> People that throw litter out of car windows. Yes. People that throw litter out of car windows. Disgraceful behaviour. Oh, quiet night in. I see. I see. That makes more sense. When you drink the beer can that's being used as an ashtray instead of your drink. Ah. Nice. Nice. That will sober you up. My dad used to flush the chain before he finished being my dad. Why? <laughs> Uh, when the yolk falls apart when trying to make fried eggs. Mm, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. That's not the end of the world. Because then when you're eating your fried egg sandwich and you bite into it and yolk goes everywhere. Down your top, in your fingers, down your face. How old am I? Uh, same age as earlier. I am still 28. Patrick Withers, I really don't like pigeons. <laughs> that made me chuckle. <laughs> uh, when people ask how do you clean coins agreed agreed don't clean your coins well if you want to clean your coins clean your coins but don't ask me how to clean your coins because I don't clean my coins it's bad bad unless you're going to use them for something that's going to destroy them anyway like I don't know making a table out of them or um, sticking them on the wall or whatever um, then clean away use what you want When eggshell gets in your batter, oh! When you try to, when your best friend tries to sell you batter of Hastings for thousands of pounds, I know we didn't have any, haven't had any today, have we? We haven't had any of them yet. Sixty-three grand a pop, it's pretty good money, isn't it? I tell you, I'm on my on my way to the Bahamas as you speak. This is uh, this is my studio in the Bahamas. Actually, I sold all my battle of Hastings for sixty-three grand each. That's why it's so warm. I'm not actually in Amazing Stoke. I'm in the Bahamas. I'm making a trip back on Monday, obviously. That's why I can't live stream tomorrow, because I'm flying back to the UK to open my veterinarian surgery. So, there we go. All revealed today. Uh, did you see the video on Facebook? Someone made their kitchen floor out of pennies. Yes, I've seen a couple of videos like that. They're pretty cool, to be fair. When I go to drink my tea, but the cup is empty. Oh, no. Oh, no. How about when your work colleague makes a round of drinks and as a coffee drinker you are given a cup of tea with sugar in it. I drink my coffee without sugar as well. I don't drink tea. I definitely don't have sugar in my drinks and you end up with a cup of tea with sugar in it. You know who you are. People who put their bottle of Buckfast in the fridge and drink it from a glass. Double no-no. Is it really? I did not know that. When you think you found a pound coin in a leftover shopping trolley, only to find out it's a plastic disc. Deh. People who make you feel like you're still at school. Sit up, purple fairy. <laughs> Face forwards. <laughs> Can you eat pigeons? I'm sure you can. <laughs> Patrick Woods does not like pigeons today. 
when people park right next to you in an empty car park. I know, yes. Especially because I go out my way to park. Uh, I'm not very good at parking, even with my newfangled parking sensors. So I will park the other end of the of a car park. Um, are we lacking or is it just me? I will park at the other end of a car park to me if it's an easy spot. Um, and yeah, and then people come park next to you. It's like, seriously, you've got the whole car park to park in. Another one, empty trains. When I used to catch the train to university, um, not so much in the morning, it was always busy in the mornings, but in the afternoons when I was catching the train home, uh, I, sat, I sat down on a train, empty carriage, literally nobody else on this carriage. Some one comes bungling through the door um, and decides to sit right next to me. Like obviously you got the two seats sat next to me empty carriage. It's like what what is your problem? So yeah, that was that was that's one of my pet peeves Dream car um, a Jaguar f-type When I was driving around in my what was I have before this one focus? I kept see it fo yeah, it was a Ford focus wasn't it? Uh, I kept seeing BMW Z types as uh, Z4s Z types Z4s and I was like, oh, I'd love one of them, and I got one. Uh, and now, I've, now I'm driving what I thought was my dream car. Um, I keep seeing Jaguar F-Types, and that's my new dream car. I put my car in reverse in the car park, and there was a car parked behind. Whoops. Lucky I had quick feet. Very good. Very lucky. Very lucky. Controlling parents. The oh dear. Finding a, a queue, then seeing it's a fake. Ugh. I actually can't decide who wears better shirts, Master Dan Temple or Christopher Collects. <laughs> I saw the sleeve on his shirt in one of his recent videos. What a stunner. What a stunner. Is there a link to the voting? I'm sure one of my moderators will post you a link. When a dog wants to be petted, but the owner walks away. Oh, that's mean. When you don't get the reply to an urgent message, which solves a problem. Oh, yes. When you're sat waiting to find out what you need to do with something. And you don't get that reply. It's like, please, please, I just need to know. I'm sat here waiting for you to answer this question. So I can't do anything. I did pass the test, I promise. <laughs> oh dear, Jamesy. Oh dear. Where's the full sleeve there? I know, I, I normally I buy the long sleeves. The, the, these ones were short sleeves, though. The, the last three I bought, I think, were all short sleeved, which isn't my preference, but there we go. They were beautiful designs. When the car breaks down and you're in a hurry, oh, touch wood. I've not had a, my car break down for a long, long time. I reversed into another car on the first anniversary of having my license about 45 minutes after post posting a gleeful pace Facebook memory with the comment I haven't even scr I haven't scratched my I haven't scratched any car either. Oh dear. Bad timing. Bad timing. What was my design? I did J for jam sandwich. J, J for jam sandwich. That was mine for this week. Stay. Stay. When a dog jumps up with dirty paws on your clean clothes. Oh, no. His shirt looks like my intro. <laughs> this is what Christopher Kleck said the first time he took his new car to it. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, I was very, very hungover. Very, very hungover. And my handbrake is just a button. I was still getting used to it. Still getting used to it. Dearie dear. <laughs> Forgot to send you my design. It was jump rope. Oh no. Should we, should, we, should we think about something something a bit a bit uh, more positive then? We've had our pet peeves, we've had our cathartic vents. What's made you chuckle this week? I tell you what made me chuckle um, when I went to go get my lunch on my lunch break, and the, the man did that thing. You know, you slip and you and you, you pretend you're jogging. You pretend you're jogging, so it doesn't look, doesn't look like you slipped. Um, that makes me chuckle. That's what made me chuckle this week. What else? What made everyone else chuckle this week? 
can't imagine you drunk. <laughs> well, you need to join Discord a bit more often. We had a we had a, a whale of a night a couple of weekends ago. Favorite vape fly flavor? I don't really mind. I like a sort of mentally fruit flavors. Come on then, what's made everyone chuckle this week? I chuckled when a pigeon got run over. Patrick Woods does not like pigeons today. <laughs> oh dear, buying expensive fake jewelry, not good. Bungle and Lady M made me chuckle this week. Bungle and Lady M make everyone chuckle every week. They are a fantastic little duo. An old lady cut a cup of police car. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> chuckle vision made Amy made Amy chuckle this week. Very good. When you bump into the lamppost, looking at a pretty woman. <laughs> Robert Roberts, eyes on the road, eyes 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 forward. What are we looking for? We're looking for alphabet 10 P's, an example of which I have, because we found one earlier. That was F for fish and chips. Every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British emitted on it. Seeing a police car getting towed. That would make me chuckle. That would make me chuckle too. I chuckled when I finally say, uh, say Bungle for the first time. When you say, or when you saw. Did you meet Bungle? Did you find Bungle? Did you, did you make a trip to Bungle land? The first thing was Robert Roberts was flying a plane at the time. <laughs> I bumped into a bus shelter looking. Oh, Robert Roberts. <laughs> Instant karma. Instant karma. Cat videos will never fail to make me chuckle, says Mackenzie. B Hoy says, when my mum calls me by my full name, when I'm in trouble, makes me laugh. See, I don't get that because I'm always Christopher. Cats with brain freeze. How do you give a cat brain freeze? Do they eat ice cream? <clears throat> Poor kitty cat. Uh, Jim from Friday Night Dinner is a very funny character. He makes me chuckle. Oh, I think he's a... I, I have seen the odd episode of it. <clears throat> I can't remember who it was that made me watch a more recent episode. So I remember when it first came out and I watched it because it had Thames in Greek. Greek? Greg in it? Master Dan Temple Treasure says, I get Daniel sometimes. <laughs> Not when you're being too noisy, of course. Though, of course. Master Temple. The Coin Whisperer. Unbelievable things. That's grim. YouTube cats get brain freeze. I see. Have you watched Not Going Out? I love Not Going Out. I haven't seen the more recent ones because I think it's a, it's got a bit weird. But um, yes, the original Not Going Out was one of the funniest TV shows. I, I like Lee Mack. Those. Lee Mack was the first comedian I ever saw live. And my dad took me um, with his friend. And oh my goodness, it was so funny. Hola Liam, thanks for tuning back in. We're talking about things that made you chuckle this week. Things that made you chuckle this week. <clears throat> when he's too noisy, he gets a shoot to the head. <laughs> Coins and More UK says, I never get called by my name in our household anymore. Oh, it looks like uh, Coins and More UK is living in the shed at the moment then. <laughs> What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Amazing. 
<laughs> very, very good. When people call you Oi instead of your name. Did you get called Oi once you were ogling someone? Is that what happened? <laughs> Or something that maybe chuckle was you earlier. Thank you very much, Liam. That was very kind of you. I'm in Bournemouth and I found an Isle of Man one pound coin. Amazing. I booked to go and see Queen on 25th of September. Looks very. It's to see Queen. Oh, wait, are they like with Adam Lambert? Are they back on tour again? I've watched the whole live stream so far. <laughs> and when my colleague at work added, oh, I missed it. It was retracted. <clears throat> New episodes not going out are really good too, are they? No, it's got no Tim Vine in it though. I like Tim Vine as well. I hope he's a good counterbalance. But there wasn't a time where Tim Vine stopped being in it, but the person who paid his girlfriend, his Daisy, was still a character. A little bit odd, a little bit odd. Tim Vine, second best joke teller. See, I, I, I don't mind the little bits and pieces. I couldn't watch an hour and a half stand-up of one-liners. I think that'd be exhausting. But no, I think my favourite comedian, Dylan Moran, closely followed by um, Tommy Tiernan. Who's everyone else's favourite comedian then? Favourite comedians? Or comedians? What's on the shirt? It's all planets and stars and things. Space. Patrick Woods is the best joke teller ever. 100%. Patrick Woods is definitely... Patrick Woods' comments, I look for them every day. My favourite Patrick Woods joke is still, how many Egyptians can you fit in a... How many Egyptians can you fit in a pyramid? A pharaoh mount. Pharaoh mount. Amazing. Milton Jones, yes, very good. I like him. Richard Pryor, yeah. Lee Nelson, I've never watched. Sarah Millican, hmm. Hugh Dennis, oh yes. I like Hugh Dennis. Uh, Frankie Boyle, yeah. It's a bit savage, but there we go. Jasper Carrot, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. Morecambe and Wise. Lee Evans, seen him three times. Yes, Lee Evans is all right. Jeff Dunham, oh man, Jeff Dunham was massive when I was in secondary school. Is he still going? Jimmy Carr. I've seen Jimmy Carr a couple of times. Cannon and Bull. Majeeb Gaming says, I'm back, Christopher Klex. I just wanted to say that your videos and your live streams, including all the other coin tubers, are amazing and keep up the good work. Been watching for you for seven months. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. John Richardson. I've seen John Richardson live as well. Very good. Early Billy Connolly. I would love to have seen Billy Connolly, Billy Connolly live. I've seen, I've, seen his, I've seen his stand up on DVDs and TV and things. But yes, another very, very good comedian. Ross Noble as well. Ross Noble was very good. So such a bizarre person. Justin Evan is still going. Occasionally live streams on YouTube and just made a new character. I see. Joe Wilkinson. Not my kind of comedy. Must be said. Rowan Atkinson, Jimmy Carr, Lee Evans, or Billy Connolly. I saw Lee Evans at 
at the O2 a few years ago. I see. I, I've seen, I went to the O2 twice to see comedians. I saw <clears throat> Al Murray, pub landlord, and I saw Eddie Izzard. And I just think stadium comedy, it's not the same as sort of a small little venue. It just feels like you end up watching the screen. You watch it, and if you're just watching the screen, you might as well just buy the DVD and watch it from home. Which is why it's a shame, because I would love to see Peter Kay live, but he only pays big stadiums. And I have written off big stadiums. Russell Howard. Harry Enfield, Jim Davidson, Joe Brand. <laughs> Amy doesn't like Joe Brand. <laughs> Reeves and Mortar live, so surreal, I can imagine. I liked um, Shooting Stars. But there we go. Holy Toledo. The only find in this bag it was a Jer uh, Guernsey one. ABC TV 12 has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. But there we go. Mr. Jam saw Peter K twice in Blackpool. Oh, I imagine it was amazing. Awaiting some coins that my partner ordered for my birthday. Elton John is one of them. Pretty cool coin. Agreed. It's very cool. Right. I'm going to go wash my hands. We're going to go back to the gallery. This is one of your last chances to get your votes in. So go and vote for your favourite design. The, the, the design that wins will get a prize. So be sure. And it, we, had a, we had a runaway winner at the last check of the votes. Uh, but your your votes can still matter. Your point, your votes could still sway the votes. So be sure to go get it. I like the dad who plays the dad in Outnumbered. That's you, Dennis. Very good. Right. I'm going to go wash my hands. Back momentarily. We're back. We're back for the final bag. Before we get into the final bag, though, shall we see how the voting is going? Let's have a look. We have had a grand total of 90 votes. It's got a bit closer to the top. 18, which is... Uh, it needs to change. 18 is John Lennon still. Is in the lead with 14 votes. Number 8 has 9 votes. Is in second place. Number 8... Number eight. Anyone know what number eight is? Uh, Jack the Ripper. Uh, what else have we got? In joint third place, we have with eight votes, number one, Jigsaw. And number 11, which is uh, Jerry. So, five votes between first and second. Five votes between first and second. Very, very good. Your votes still matter, so go get your votes in. <clears throat> How do you sign your coins? Sharpie pen. In fact, I do one live in a moment. Stacey Lou's got to go. Thank you for tuning in, Stacey Lou. Hope you have a nice rest of your weekend. Any updates on redesign prizes? Um, I just need a bit more time to finish them off. I thought it was going to be a nice, quick, easy job. It is taking a little bit longer to do. <clears throat> but they'll be out soon. Don't you worry. I've not forgotten you. <laughs> Going to be making my first plunge into buying some coins from the Royal Mint. Any suggestions? Have a look what's available. Whatever you like the most, I buy that. It's 
three pigeons in your garden now. <laughs> Patrick Woods in the pigeon update. <clears throat> Right, then. I'm sure we had a Benjamin Bunny earlier. <clears throat> oh, there he is. Last one you look at. Sharpie pen. Okay, one that hasn't been completely and utterly destroyed. And it's just... There we go. That's how we do. That's how they go out. And a fair few of them have made their way into people's hands, which is kind of cool. So if you do find one, do let me know. If you've had a if you have a Benjamin Bunny, a Benjamin Bunny that looks like this, do let me know. But that's all I do. Best place to find discounted coins. You've got to ask Master Temple. Master Temple is the king of the deal. Johnny Henderson wants to find one. The amount of people have asked me to send a signed Benjamin Bunny to them, not happening. Not happening. Not even to the most elite coin tubers. They only go into circulation. They only go into circulation. Favourite movie, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Outside of Star Wars though, Silence of the Lambs. Fantastic film. Let's see. We've got Christopher Ironside. A fellow Christopher. Always keep him. Oh, change the fez. Yes, Mark. Well spotted. Fez change. That is the wrong fez. Here we go. Usual surface has resumed. Um... There we go. We've got Paddington at the station there. Very nice, my favourite Paddington. Patrick Woods also hates slugs. <laughs> the worst is stepping on a snail with bare feet. Ooh. Nasty, 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 nasty. If you go to an antique shop, they want to charge you the earth for coins. Well, not according to Master Dan Temple's treasures. He's managed to get himself some amazing deals in antique shops. Uh, public libraries there. Very common. We all know that one. Is it released Monday? Is what released Monday? Oh, the um, <coughs> Rosalind Franklin 50p? If it's released on Monday, definitely. Definitely going to get it. Christopher, it, the worst is stepping on a spider and hearing a crunch. Ooh. We've got Victoria Cross, heroic acts. Lego on bare feet. Agreed. Coins and more. Do you have a channel too? He does. He reviews household um, appliances. <laughs> And don't forget the decorating as well. He's, he's a master decorator. Uh, Patents at the Tower. That's the one you want to find. Team Tower. We're going to win. 
I went outside last night about 10 p.m. and stepped on a slug barefooted. Oh dear. Grim. <laughs> Special little pineapple is Team Tower. Agreed. Agreed. We're going to win. There we go, the equaliser is 1-0, Paddington Tower versus Cathedral. We're not worried, we're not worried on Team Tower. We're gonna win. something there it is not can you tell the caffeine's wearing off <laughs> if I start snoring someone nudge me and he takes the lead it's 2-1 to the cathedral as well it should be as well it should be 4.5 million breakfast now in circulation yes so I hear reliably informed by coin pig the man who knows everything You should sign a Paddington at the Tower for to and release it into circulation. Mm, I keep I keep all of them. We've got a 2016 here. A 2016 here. What do we think? What do we think? Q's like £160 plus now. Really? Holy Toledo. Edge Hunt. We'll do that on the next bag, don't you worry. What do you think this 2016 is going to be, though? Laughter thinks it's going to be a duck. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be good? Any other guesses? Jiggy Winkle. Jiggy Winkle. Duck, 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 duck. Peter Rabbit. Duck. Hedgehog. Jiggy Winkle. Let's have a look. It's Squirrel Nutkin. It's neat. It's cool. Happy to find a Squirrel Nutkin. It's good, but there's no Puddle Duck. Total Goins called it. <laughs> well, we had very good luck throughout the stream, to be fair. If we can make one more bit of luck in this bag, wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be good? The cherry on the cake. Oh yeah, Edge Hunt, my bad, I forgot. Right, we'll make up for it. We'll do two bags. Two bags. Right, hold your horses. We're gonna get two bags. Right. Whoops. Right, pick your coins, pick your coins. Harry's answer six, two, four, six. If we call your number and your name, let someone else have a go. Britannia. Uh, Rose Ford says 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Britannia. Uh, Miss Jam says 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Britannia. Denise Haynes says 6, 2, 4, 6. Britannia. Uh, Shiny Pad says number three, one, two, three, one, two, three, third one in is, oh, it's tricky, just a shield. Panther wants the penultimate one, penultimate one is a Britannia. Uh, Mark Day wants a lucky dip, we'll go for this one. Mark Day is found a Britannia. Um, Kurt Koenigs is 11, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, Britannia. 
Master Dan Temple Strategist is number three. One, two, three. Britannia. Purple Fairy says number three as well. Purple Fairy Vans of Britannia. Uh, number Wang. Is it number one? Ah, oh, points to Rets and Relim. Now, Rets and Relim, we all know where points are redeemable. You've got to rip off the top of your television set and send it to Bungle's P.O. Box. There you go. Um... Andy Sorty says 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 is a Britannia. Superstar Warrior says 16 as well. 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 is a Britannia. Aviation Media says 2 for Q. It's Britannia. Uh, Philip Yates says lucky dip. We're going to go for one close to the end. Philip Yates is found in Britannia. Team BBYT says eight, please. Two, four, six, eight is Britannia. Dimebag Darren Lowe says two. Number two is Britannia. Uh, Adam Boots says eight, two, four, six, eight. Britannia. Liam says 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Shield. Uh, Kevin Scanlon says 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's a shield. Monty says, sure, I saw Olympic weightlifting. Jane Stevens says 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Britannia. Mr. Jam wants number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a battered Britannia. Purple Ferris is number four. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Britannia. There's a weird one. About five. One, two, three, four, five is a shield. Pocket Poke wants number 23. Two and three is five. That's five. One, two, three, four, five is Britannia. Shawnee Henderson in admin wants number seven. Two, four, six, seven. Nope. Robert Roberts wants all, wants all of them. No Robert Roberts. You can't have all of them. Uh, Ian Strudwick wants number two. Juan, two is a Britannia. Uh, Patrick Woods wants odd. Odd. O. D. D. Britannia. B. Hoy Coins wants 28. Two and eight makes ten. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. Shield. Andrew Green wants number three. Juan, two, three. Britannia. Lindsay Howell says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, dear. Hold on. Two, four, six, eight, nine is the penultimate coin. Britannia. Uh, Andy O says nine, two, four, six, eight, nine is the last one. Shield. I saw Jamara weightlifting a Kew Gardens. <laughs> Joaquim van der Zander says two. One, two. Brick shield. Uh, Bubbly says five. One, two, three, four, five. Shield. Unbelievable coins is 11, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, ten. Shield. T. Benice wants number four. One, two, three, four. Shield. Uh, very special pineapple says number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is back to this one, which is a shield. And the chase is number four. Three and one to the front is a Britannia. You've got one and two left. One and two left. London Box wants to ask a question about 50p's. Go for it. We've got one and two. One and two. Fast as fingers first. Fast as finger first. Said my name totally wrong, but no problem. <laughs> uh, Bubbly and Superstar Warrior and Sean want number two. Britannia, which leaves a Britannia. <laughs> Said your name totally wrong. I apologise. I had a, I had a, I had a go at it. I went for it. I went for it. <laughs> If you spell it out phonetically, let's see how wrong I was. <laughs> uh, 
I just find a 1975 50p. Is it worth any money? It's worth at least 50p, that's for sure. But if you want to value your coins, go onto eBay, search for the coin that you've got, and then look at sold auctions. Uh, Taylor Peter Rabbit from 2017. No Benjamin Bunnies yet. Bizarre. Joachim is pronounced. Not Joachim. <laughs> Is it really? Was I really that wrong? I wouldn't see how it's pronounced phonetically. Tom Kitten worth collecting. Every collection needs one, but it's only face value. They were very, very highly minted. The whole 2017 set. Just prove a point, there's two. For miles off. <laughs> well, that should come as no surprise. Oh, cramping my foot. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it's still going. Oh dear. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's sore. Oh, that needs to stop. Oh, cut it out. Ow, ow, ow. See you soon, Purple Fairy. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, it's like a pulsating pain. Ow, 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 ow. I'm trying to stand on it while I'm still sitting. Ow. Oh, it's okay. We're done. We're done. It's all fine. It's done. Owie, 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 owie. It's still sore. Right, need a drink, need a drink. JJ Chuck says, cool, I really enjoy your hunts. Thank you very, very much. Got Olympic basketball today, my change says Norm Iron. Very good. You need to pull your big toe back. Is that what will do it? It's okay, it has abated somewhat. We're all good. Too much caffeine, maybe. Stand on a cold floor with no shoes on. Unfortunately, I have socks on. And the floor is very, very hot because the whole room is hot. It's, I've mentioned how warm it is. It's hotter than hell in here right now. <laughs> I am liquefying as we speak. Still not quite like, still not quite right. Looking how to type it phonetically, it's something like yo, as in yo yogurt, a, like a scream, gg, like ugly Dutch, difficult sound, yoag, yoag, im, yoagim, yoagim, have I got it? Yoagim? <laughs> Where are all the finds? I know this bag, we are lacking some part, aren't we? But we've had some very good luck earlier. Uh, Victoria Cross, the medals. Victoria Cross, uh, the medals. Almost very well for a British person. There we go. I got an almost. I got an almost. I was very wrong with Joaquim though. <laughs> what have you missed? Oh, you've missed most of the live stream. We're on the last bag of 50p's now. It is. The, the end is near. And so we face the final curtain. Deja vu. This is Mr. Jam. Deja vu. Deja vu. Victor, Victoria Cross um, medals. <laughs> Deary dear, deary dear. Dear. 
Elle est déjà vue. <laughs> Says Mr. Jam. And déjà vu. Coin Life loves my hat. Thank you very, very much. It's the Lucky Fez. All the way from Tunisia. Uh, Joachim van de Zande in het duits heb je Joachim ook maar dan is het meer de gewangude Joachim <laughs> I have no idea what that is as long as I haven't just summoned Giglamesh that's all that matters Bonjamin Binny, our first of the hunt oh there we go that's a fine the NHS 50p very very good Lovely stuff. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. He's going to be common. He's going to be common. Shut up, Jamesy. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, dear. It's all going terribly, terribly wrong. Behave. Sit. Stay. Don't fall over, please. Thank you very much. Team No Hope. Exactly. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Also, today's Saturday. Yes, I'm live today because I'm away tomorrow. But Caledonian Coins is filling my usual spot. 6pm uh, over on Caledonian Coins' channel. Be sure to get on over there. Denise Haim says, my mum was from Germany. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Whoops. How old am I? Too old? Oh, outrageous. I had a birthday last month. 28. Can you believe it? 28. There's another NHS. Very nice two NHS's. We won't complain about that. That's very good. Are you going away in the UK or just having a couple of days off at home? Are you going away in the UK? Not going far. I wondered. I was wondering how old you were. We're the same age. How old do you think I was Mr. Jam? That's the big question. Have you got the link to vote for the 10 P's? I'm sure one of my kind moderators. Holy Toledo. Patrick Woods, thank you very, very much. There's time to update my joke book. <laughs> oh no, 2014. Damn, I thought it was 2011. Wouldn't that have been good? I was putting you about 22, 23. Oh, thank you. Very kind, very, very kind. Paddington at the station, my favourite Paddington. Hi Christopher, thanks for liking my previous comment on your US Philippine coin finds. I have three 50p's in my collection, a 1981 Britannia, 1973 Britannia's, uh, Britain's entry into the EEC and a Stephen Hawking BU. Very nice. Was it you that explained what, um, why there was US coins um, minted for the Philippines. There was a US administered part, uh, US administered, I think someone said. Anyway, thank you for your help. Question Is there any silver 50p's in general change? No, there is no silver in circulating UK coinage. You can buy silver proofs, which is silver um, variants of the coin. Jeremy Fisher, that makes up our 2017 set, does it not? We've got one of each, all four, a whole full house there. Very good. Yep, that was me. Thank you very much for your help then. It's, it's always those world coin hunts. Uh, people are very, very friendly and helpful. So thank you very much. UK coin hunt. Who is better? We had a competition. I'm sure we did um, 50p's. And did we not do £2 coin 
uh, versus as well. And I think I won. I think. I think I did. Uh, that takes Team Cathedral 3-1 into the lead. Go Team Tower. Oh dear. <laughs> it's still 3-2. It's still 3-2. Cathedral has the lead. There is a dictionary to add to our stack of dictionaries we found today. And there's a 2017 Peter Rabbit. Patrick's Woods is off. Got some pigeons to shout out. There you go. Patrick Woods, we found today, I found out today, does not appreciate pigeons. But he was also asking if you can eat pigeons, so there's that. We shall see, we shall see. It'd be great to see the behind the scenes tour, Christopher. Behind the scenes tour of what? There we go, another Paddington at the magnanimity. That's what, five? No, four, two. Four, two. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, we got a jersey one. That's very nice. Hi, Christopher. I had an amazing luck yesterday. I got 23 of the 29 Olympic 50Ps from my neighbor's collection. I was speechless. Wow, very good. Amazing stuff. We've got jersey. 19 and 97. Any territory is definitely a keeper. You shouldn't be finding them in your UK change, so it's always a bonus too. There we go. Christopher Kletz, could you organise a little video raid on the video I sent your messenger? I will have a look. I did already have a video in mind to raid though, so I'll, maybe next week. I'll take a look and maybe we'll do it next week. I did have a video in mind that I was going to read last week, but then something came up and I changed my mind last week. We've got Christopher Ironside. We've had no Battle of Hastings today, have we? Deary dear. The money well has dried up, it looks like. 63 grand a coin. Can you believe it? Uh, Christopher Clex, I don't know. That was a suggestion. Hey. Oh, no, no, stay, don't fall over. Good. Last bag of the hunt, holy Toledo. For those of you that watched from the start, for those of you that have tuned in for a few minutes, for those of you that are watching on Catch Up With Your Catch Up, a massive thank you. It's been a fantastic evening. Obviously not on my usual day. We'll be back to our usual service next week, Sunday, 6 p.m. Get your redesigns in for the letter K, and um, we will be shortly picking the winner of the competition this week. Obviously, uh, point the prizes go to Teague Benny's either way for getting the set, doing the same design as I did. Paddington at the station again, and Paddington at the tower. So it ends up four three, four three to the cathedral. Well, 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 I never. Star finds NHS. Very nice. It was very cool. So then, shall we see? We'll leave it on the gallery for a moment. But as ever, it's been a fantastic evening. Uh, we'll be finding out who won the, the redesign. We'll then be... Um, Raiding a channel over on Twitch, raiding a video on YouTube, um, and then I'll be going over to my Discord server for the voice chat. I've got to grab something to eat though because I am starving. I'm going to start chewing the side of my desk at the rate I'm going. Give it a few moments just to cycle through the pictures once more. But no, it's been a bit strange doing a live stream on a Saturday. Because normally the live stream signals the end of my weekend. It means it's work tomorrow, which it doesn't today, which is bizarre. Strange stuff, yeah? Do I collect any date runs of coins? Uh, yeah, I've got date runs of the coins that I hunt through. Um, i put my phone right then. So, final scores on the doors. We have had a grand total of 103 votes in at number five. We'll pop over to this one. In at number five is number 13 
which is J for Justice, that came in from um, Coin Patrol. So big thank you for Coin Patrol in fifth place. In fourth place, we have number 11, which is Jerry with eight votes. And that came in from... Jerry came in from Shrian. So well done to Shrian. Um, which leaves in third place, number one, J for Jigsaw. And Jigsaw came in from CBE underscore animals. I love the colours. I love the colours on that one. Uh, which leaves second place is number 12. Which is J for Jam. Is it? Yeah. J for Jam. Which is courtesy of the talented uh, Ella Collects. So a big well done to in second place, which means in first place with a grand total of 16 votes, absolutely smashing it. I think I know who it is as well. For the third week in a row, taking the hat trick is Mark a day. So a big well done. I'm pretty sure you've now um, tied with Amber on Unbelievable Coins on three weeks. You've had three weeks in a row. Holy Toledo. I might retire and give somebody else a chance. No, you've got to go for four. You've got to go for four. Mark, you've got to go to four. Uh, number 18 is our winner for this week. A big well done to Mark. Three weeks on the trot. Mark has absolutely smashed it. So a big well done. Um, obviously, as I said, get your redesigns in for K. See if you can knock um, Mark a day off of his pillar. Um, can you, can, you can't, we can't leave it four weeks in a row. You can't take four victories, can he? Unbelievable stuff, but much, much, much um, well deserved. It's an awesome, awesome design, um, and you'll be getting your third prize as well, going into your care package of parcels. Uh, but a massive well done to you. I'm sure someone can take you off the top spot next week. I've already had some letter designs come in for the K. Awesome stuff. Well, um, we'll be raiding someone over on Twitch first. Let me just get this all set up. I think I can actually do it from here, can't I? No, I don't know how. Let's just stick with what I know, which is not a lot, but there we go. Du, 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 du. Stream. Raid a channel. We're going to go with Cooking with Kate, as usual. We always raid Cooking with Kate. Well, who do I still see every Twitch? I see Sadman2k, Mr. Jam. I see Liam. I see... Uh, Mark a day, Team BBB, YT, I see Teague Bernice, uh, Unbelievable Coins. Uh, I'm sure Lynn Mills is around somewhere. I'm sure Total Coins is there, Rets in Relim. A big thank you also to the moderators as well over on YouTube and on Twitch for your kind help and and service to the cause of keep, keeping the nutters at bay. Much appreciated. So a massive thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next week for more coins. Bye. So then, who is still over on YouTube? I can still see Shani Pad. I see Mackenzie, Coins and More UK, Judas, Tony Miles, Linda Amazing. Linda Amazing, what an awesome name. Uh, Carrick Collects, uh, Superstar Warrior, Coin Life, Kurt, Makamula, uh, Robert Roberts, Shawnee Henderson, Laughter, Master Dan Temple's Treasures, Mackenzie, 50p Man, Jude S. Monty, uh, unbelievable coins, Stephen Keeley coins, Stephen Keeley coins, <laughs> that rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Stephen Keeley coins, Mackenzie, uh, Jamesy Behoy, Ian Strudwick, Shani Pad again, Nashe, Joachim van der Zander. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not, I know it's not. Uh, Darren Cheshire, Rose Ford, Total Coins, Denise Haynes, Coins and More UK, Nick Thomas, um, Katie Jones coins, Philip Yates, um, Bambi O. Uh, we're going to be reading a video, so if you can head over to this video and type in Holy Toledo in the comments. Uh, I'm sure many of you will have already seen this video. I'm just getting it up. There it is. Right, posting it now. We are there. We are here. Head on over to the video. 
Lever, Holy Toledo. Oh gosh, what have I done? I closed the app. Are we still live? I can't tell. <laughs> Everything's got a bit funny. Let me find the stream again. That's me. I'm still live apparently. Okay, cool. We're still here. So head on over. Leave a holy Toledo in the comments. I don't think I. I don't think we raided this one last week, did we? Now I'm thinking we might have already raided this video. Oh. But uh, some familiar faces. Uh, I'm sure you'll love the video. <laughs> and next week, as I said, we'll be returning back to Sunday live streams. A massive thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for 